Has one already back to Mel. Centering pass, they score. One on one into the zone. Backhander score. From the Thompson Arena in Hanover, New Hampshire, it's the Ivy League on ESPN. Tonight, the ACAC quarterfinals begin. The Dartmouth College Big Green take on the Union Garnet Chargers. And good evening, everyone. Welcome inside the Tom Serena. I'm Rob Kennedy along with Tyler Orego. Two great words, playoff hockey here in the quarterfinals for the first time in a long time for the Big Green who are peaking at the right time. And they've earned this opportunity, Rob, here to host this quarterfinal series, playing some of their best hockey down the stretch. This is a team that hasn't lost in regulation since early February, 4-0-1 coming into the playoffs. But as we know, Rob, it all resets now. And for Union, a bit of an up and down second half to the season, but they've got some key wins. A win over Cornell on the road, and they thrashed Brown last week, 6-0 to get here today. Really the definition of a 500 season for the Garnet Chargers. They really struggled to establish really any kind of consistency, but we all know that in the playoffs it's a new year, and that 6 nothing win certainly could inspire a lot of confidence going forward. Take a look at some players to watch today, and we'll start with the Dartmouth Big Green. Well, it's Luke Hames who just racked up a ton of hardware at the end of the year, and rightfully so. He paced Dartmouth offensively, 14 goals in his final 13 regular season games coming into this contest. And for the Union Garnet Chargers, who are we taking a look at? We'll look at junior Caden Vivegas, who has just been constantly improving throughout his career. Eight points as a freshman, 27 points as a junior, and he had two goals in that win against Brown. Four times, but Union's won all four games. Knocks the big win out of the postseason of the quarterfinals of 2014 on the way to a national championship, 4-2 and 3-0 in Schenectady. That was the second consecutive sweep for Union over Dartmouth. Garnet Chargers won 5-4 and 4-1. The Achilles rank the previous year in 2013. We'll take a look at the goalies, starting with Cooper Black. No surprise for the Big Green that they turned to the Green Monster, who was stellar down the stretch. 9.09 save percentage and a 9.14 lifetime against Union. Kyle Chauvet down at the other end, starting once again for the Garnet Chargers. Just the definition of a workhorse, really, when you look at it. This will be his 21st consecutive start for the sophomore, an 893 save percentage though. This is a union team that has been up and down all season, Rob, and we know defensively that there are holes. They score a lot of goals though, this union team, and you don't want to let them score first because they are very good. When getting the lead, they don't usually relinquish it. Union wearing those dark garnet uniforms here in Hanover tonight. It's the first time these teams have played in Hanover in the postseason. All those four games I mentioned earlier on, those were all in Schenectady. Nick Young with the puck now, the sophomore defenseman. Young and John Prokop, the defensive pair to start the game for Josh Hauge. Big Green's Eric Charpentier in the defensive zone, watched closely by Brandon Burr, the Clarkson transfer. What a great addition he's been for this Garnet Chargers club. And we know how much of an impact Prokop will make, 27 assists, 35 points, but he's just as solid defensively as well. And we did not see him last time these two teams played here at Hanover back in January. Yeah, Prokop was out of that game. And so is the big green netminder, Cooper Black. They're both back in action tonight here. Lifted down the ice by Cullen Ferguson. Slapped into the offensive zone by Tyler Watkins for the Young Garnet Chargers. Cooper Flitton trying to avoid the Chaz Smedsrud check. Big green hemmed in for a moment. Out comes Luke Haynes. Haynes swats that into the offensive zone. He'll hop off for a change. Picked up behind the goal by Ferguson. Ferguson takes a look up ice, flips it up the ice. Knocked down at the blue line by Dartmouth. Ryan Sorkin ahead toward Alex Kraus. Here's Kraus in the first shot of the game. Stopped by Chauvet, he'll hold on to that. Just one minute and 31 seconds in and already some tempers flaring between Cohen Ferguson and Alex Kraus. And some defense leading to good offense quickly up the ice for the big green. Owen Desolet, the first year defender, making a nice play at the line to knock that puck down. And it springs a speedy Alex Krausen down the wing. Good testing shot. And Chauvet comes up with his first save of the game. Stephen Townley on the draw. Just named the academic All-Ivy League team. He'll battle Ville Imanen. Face off controlled by the Big Green. Desolet back behind the goal. Ryan Sorkin waiting back there. Sorkin the senior to the point. Desolet shooting through traffic. And that floats wide. Now it's Caden Villegas, the Texas native. Townley checks him. There's Krausen to help out. Krause slips that off the glass behind the goal. Messina's the first one there, and now Nixon gave that away to Townley. That's given right back to Villegas. Played down the right wing side of Vila Evenin. 
Even into the offensive zone, Kelly's going to goal. He has a shot deflected wide by John Fusco. The big green defender got in the way. Now Fusco, the Maple Leafs draft pick, working up ice, intercepted by Eminent. Pass bound for Trim Lokeberg. Kelly at center ice, slips in back behind the goal. Didn't quite make the center red line. And that's an icing called against Union, the faceoff back in Kyle Chauvet's zone. And that thanks to Voario bearing down. And those are plays in the postseason that can make an impact. When you come in hard and you come in with speed, your opposing player knows the hit's going to be there, and that can change the decision-making and the timing. And that time, Barnett Chargers unable to get to the red line, and we'll see how the face-offs pan out in this game and in this series. Eminen's going to take another one, 56% on the draw for him this season. He's lost two so far as Chisholm was improved greatly in that department. Just won the draw. That's up and out of play, so we'll have another draw on the Big Green offensive zone, just two minutes and 29 seconds into this contest. Game one, best of three series. Tomorrow at seven o'clock, and then if necessary, Sunday at four. And you mentioned Chisholm's improvement on the draw, the senior up to 53%. It's a career best for him. And one of those games within the games, perhaps, in this series, looking at how the faceoffs are gonna go. Quick shot off the draw as the Big Green win another, and Chauvet was ready. Chisholm three for three. But out in front of the goal, that's a bad giveaway in the shot over the crossbar from Charpentier who cheated in. Now played back down the ice. Carter Corpy in a race, he got there and Charpentier with a long reach knocked him off stride. All six foot three there. That's Fusco behind the goal. Houston trying to send it back there. He's being pressured by Colby MacArthur, the Prince Edward Island native. Almost a bad giveaway by the Garnet Chargers. It doesn't result in a goal. Charpentier in his own zone for Dartmouth. Looking right at the middle of the ice. This being icing, it will not be waved off as Flinton checks Prokop. Two good players battling behind the goal line. Tupker hits Brandon Burr. Burr into the offensive zone, holds, shoots. There's the first save for Cooper Black. And there's where the Garnet Chargers can be dangerous as we'll take another look at that chance. And Something that's been a revelation for the Big Green is how their defense has been able to activate onto loose pucks. Whether it's been C.J. Foley or Eric Charpentier as the face-off win produces a good chance. They track down the rebound though and Charpentier, you mentioned that giveaway. Those are glorious chances and he just pumped it over top of the net. Ferguson playing it back across ice to Cal Mel. Burr through the offensive zone, 11 goals since transferring over. From the Clarkson Golden Knights, with 13 assists, and he played well against the Big Green this year. A goal and two assists on the season. And you saw the shot he got in on the wing, and I was going to mention, that's where the Garnet Chargers can be dangerous when they're moving quickly through neutral ice. And so for the Big Green, important to keep an eye out on their own blue line. Vegas forces the turnover, Garnet Chargers in onside. Here's Handley, broken up at the blue line. And the Big Green's Cooper Flinton back into the offensive zone, and he'll peel off for a change. Joseph Messina, back behind the goal, oh, almost turned that over to Sorkin. A couple of dangerous plays in the defensive zone by the Garnet Chargers so far. Eminem swats that behind the goal, Josh Nixon bearing down. Plays it back to the point, Viegas there, a centering feed, look out, there's a shot. Deflected off Sorkin in front, off the stick from Messina. Now Matt Fusco's first touch of the puck, he'll barrel up the ice. Fusco dropped that towards Sorkin, Messina clears. Poario back to Desilet for the big green. Kelly in his own zone for Union. We approach the five minute mark of this first period. Now it's Kelly again, Vuario tries to steal. Chaz Smedsrud battling Matt Fusco in the corner. Desilet trying to assist for the big green. Also in there, Liam Robertson, second team all ECAC All-Star this year. Loki Berg for Dartmouth had his stick lifted by Robertson. Here he comes into the offensive zone for a shot wide of the mark. Tyler Watkins with it now. Hawkins in the corner with Smedsrud. There's Lokiberg throwing his weight around a little bit as the puck's frozen back there. Now Smedsrud brings it out. Desilet knocks it away from him. Smedsrud behind the goal. Desilet did solid work on the big man. Yeah, Smedsrud, a tough guy to play against as his centering pass. Intercepted by Matt Fusco. Big green don't clear. Now work it out now as Lokiberg clears. Probably look at a partial change here. Be a full one now as Smedsrud knocked down by Morgan. Nate Morgan, a union commit back before he came to Dartmouth. Now it's Musa. An open wing, nobody home. Jeanette checked by Chisholm, the big green captain. 
as a lay behind the goal. There's Colby MacArthur taking a look. Dorfman accelerating through center ice. Dorfman into the offensive zone. Dorfman, good hip check. That was Prokop, as you mentioned. He plays well defensively. He's not just an offensive machine. Chisholm into the offensive zone. Pedaling coming up to Union. And the Big Green get the first power play of the Knights. Yeah, it looks like it was MacArthur there. Some stick work. You could hear it catch the mask there of Chisholm. We got Corpy Ford instead, 12 not 11. So Carter Corpy sits in the box for high sticking. Let's see if we can see this on the replay. Right there. Yep. On the stick lift, trying to get underneath Chisholm and a swing and a miss. He catches him in the face mask, and the Big Green are going to get a chance with the game's first power play. And you talk about how things have improved for this team this season, Rob, and it really starts with their power play compared to a year ago, what they've been able to do this season. And a chance now to open up the scoring in game one. Garnet Chargers penalty kill, though, is very good. Third in all of college hockey at 86.4%. C.J. Foley with the puck. Passed across to Hames. Centering pass. Flitton launches wide. Foley with it again. Foley's had a good week with plenty of awards as Fusco shoots now. And McDonald's knocked that wide. Played behind the goal. Fusco stops it with the skates. Good keep. Now a chance for Hames, he shoots, rebound is loosed after Chauvet made the stop. And the Garnet Chargers clear. Good looking first unit on the power play, 35 seconds in. And they get a quick change too to get the second unit out there, keeping things fluid and you want to gain the zone here quickly. Fusco, play dump and chase. Back behind the goal. Fusco with it again. Hames trying to assist. Good work by Cohen Ferguson there defensively to Freeze the puck in the corner and kill some seconds on this power play, which is about halfway through. Ryan Sorkin trying to move it out of there. Cal Mell is proving a difficult man to move, but it does squirt free. Now the big green can set up. Matt Fusco just held that in. John Fusco lost the puck, and Ferguson clears. Tough break there for John Fusco. It just rolled off his forehand. But I like how the big green haven't wasted much time setting it up. Ferguson did a tremendous job along with Mel freezing that puck up in the corner. Here's Dorfman now. Played around to Ryan Sorkin, who's seen more and more minutes on the power of play, but he lost the puck to Tyler Watkins. The senior clears for the Garnet Chargers. 29 seconds remaining in the big green power play, the first of the game for either team. And you're seeing why this Union penalty kill trails only Boston College and Wisconsin. They waste no time getting the puck up and out of their own zone. And any mistake is punished, as Kelly does right there. Dorfman will try his luck, trying to feed Joey Musa. Musa bearing down. Young beats him to it. Dorfman in to keep it in the corner. Steven Townley racing Kelly. Townley, great work on the boards. Played behind the goal. Power plays over. Centering pass, and it just missed Joey Musa. Townley hustles to keep it in. McCarter Corpy's out of the box. Charpentier, a bullet, and a save made by Chauvet. Another errant pass there from Union. Charpentier walked right into it. CJ Foley trying to work that to the side. Townley now behind the goal. Josh Waters there with him. Here's Waters, the big green senior. Trying to work his way out in front. C.J. Foley to Charpentier again. He shoots and just missed. Charpentier's ain't taking aim tonight so far. He's got the gun loaded. Foley working in. Dropped to Kraus and a save made by Chauvet. And he'll hold on. That was great puck movement by C.J. Foley and Kraus had a great opportunity. It's these young bucks on defense for the big green. C.J. Foley just sashaying in. Beautiful pass off to the right. Alex Kraus, who's gotten a few chances in this first period. We'd love to see him get going. We know January tends to be his month, but the Big Green would like to see him perhaps come alive here in March. But you saw it with Charpentier, not afraid to pull the trigger and get pucks towards goal. C.J. Foley, never afraid to take a skate with it. Billy Eamon to Viegas. Caden Viegas centering pass, knocked down, but it did get all the way through. A shot wide. Back to the point. Here's Ferguson looking. He fires. Knocked down in front. Eminent. Back to the point again. Cal Mel back there. Mel and Ferguson playing pass. Ferguson in from the points as Nixon tried to set him up. Tucker McRae knocks the puck loose. The Big Green can gain possession, but it's stolen right back. Great work by Viegas. Here's Nixon in for a shot. The rebound loose. Ferguson holds it in for the Garnet Chargers. Good shift here for Union as they try to get in front. There's a shot from Ferguson. A save made by Black, who's lost his helmet under pressure from Josh Nixon. 
Good little burst there from the Garnet Chargers. Ferguson in the middle of it all. Working that high to low and then letting it fly from the point. He found his way all the way into the corner at one point in that shift. And then Nixon, you see right there, trying to impede the vision of Black, who can see a lot at six foot eight. Even when down in the butterfly, Cooper in good position there. And even if a rebound did come free, a whistle certainly would have sounded with the mask coming off right away like it did. That on 19 is upcoming on this faceoff. Liam Robertson and Sean Chisholm for Union and Dartmouth, respectively. Robertson running three game point streaks and points in five of his last six. And Sean Chisholm certainly finished the year with a flourish with a pair of two point games. Jason Shaddy is the linesman. He's ready for the draw. It's one back to Prokop, who'd love to take the shot and does, but good work by the Big Green to make sure that Black sees it all the way. Not allowing any screen to be set up that time as well. Chaz Smedsrud, we know what his game entails, and at six foot two, 195 pounds, he's a lot of player to handle out in front, and he always knows where to go. Senior forward, 14 goals this season. He has a nose for the net, and the Big Green need to keep that space clear for Cooper Black. He's an irritation, and I say that in a very complimentary way. I'd love to have Smedsrud playing on my team. It tends to be more complimentary in this sport, I've come to learn, if yeah. you're called a pest or any iteration of that. Irritating is a compliment. <laughs> Means you're doing something right. Smedsrud, there he is, dropping the puck, but Chisholm has it now for Dartmouth. Trying to connect with Braden Dorfman, slowed down by Young right at the blue line. Dorfman's going to get a penalty yeah. there. Got to stick up high, didn't he? Caught Young right underneath the chin, it looked like, and we're going to get... High sticking penalties apiece here in this first period. Both of them pretty easy to call. And a power play for the Garnet Chargers. As it's Braden Dorfman will head off. And the Garnet Chargers will get a power play when we return to the Thompson Arena. No score here so far in game one. Make your debit card green. Big green. Select from 16 options by visiting any Ledyard Bank location or calling 888-746-4562. Ledyard's online and mobile banking includes free personal mobile check deposit so you can show all your Dartmouth pride on your home turf. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. If you need to dig, lift, move, grade, Clear or cut, hump, weld, clean, light, and just about anything else. Dial up the rental source for the newest and the most reliable equipment in New England. Staffed with equipment and construction experts, Milton Rents, your local source. As a trusted choice agency, the Richards Group has been committed to local communities for decades. We take the time to get to know our clients, their needs, and budget. We're independent, so we work for you, not an insurance company. We use our expertise to design home, auto, and business coverage solutions at a competitive price. In addition, our team provides consulting for employee benefits, human resources, retirement plans, and wealth management. The Richards Group, protecting what you value most. The union's power play, their first of the night, and that's been a strength for this team this year. It's improved greatly since they last came up here to Hanover. They rank 32nd in power play percentage. They finished the regular season up at 24th. They've scored 30 power play goals this season. So for the Big Green, you're looking to counter a strong penalty killing effort by Union here with one of your own. And Eminen's out there and he's got five power play goals. Robertson's got seven on the season. Ferguson at the points. Holding the puck, looking for a screen. There's Hanley now. Hanley lost it. C.J. Foley to a shorthanded goal. Ins connected here earlier. Can Foley score here? No, he won't. But a penalty coming up. Penalty shot, No Rob. shot at all for Ferguson, and it is a penalty shot. Well, what can't C.J. Foley do? My goodness, for a defenseman, he just reads the play so cerebrally. Pressuring Hanley, getting the strip, and then the steal. There's the penalty there as Ferguson just comes in with a one-handed hack. And C.J. Foley, who's had quite a rookie season, can really set things off here at Thompson Arena with a penalty shot here shorthanded. 
This week was C.J. Foley week. He was named ECAC Rookie of the Month, All-Rookie Team in a selection, Ivy League Rookie of the Year, and ECAC third team. And now he's got a chance to score shorthanded for the second time this year against Union and give the Big Green a 1-0 lead. A pressure on Foley and Kyle Chauvet. An early turning points, pivotal moments in this series here in the ECAC quarterfinals. Everybody standing on their respective benches. Here comes C.J. Foley. Saved by Chauvet. And we stay scoreless. A face-off will come with the big green offensive zone, but a pivotal save for Chauvet here early. And with the penalty shot, you never know what the approach could be. And for Foley, a little bit of a head fake, but he kept it simple to say the least, just trying to beat Chauvet one-on-one. -on -one. And for Kyle Chauvet, that is a key save at a key time. You look to your goaltender to come up with those once every now and then, and that could be one we bookmark as this game goes along. Fusco is shot, blocked by Colby MacArthur all the way back down the ice in the big greens, defensive zone. Karma still shorthanded for the next minute and 21 seconds. Liam Robertson, I mentioned earlier, leading the team with seven power play goals. Number 19 out there right now for the visitors. 70% of his goals this season, power play goals, seven of the 10. Stephen Townley back behind the goal. There's Robertson with it now, taking the pass from Burr. Played near side, MacArthur. Good work by the, the Garnet Chargers, excuse me. You know I do that once here <laughs> in this game. Old habits hard to break. Still don't know what a Garnet Charger is, but we'll figure that out maybe by series end. Hand pass called against the Big Green. Cam McDonald wanted to take it all the way down the ice, and the faceoff will stay in the Dartmouth defensive zone. And for the Big Green, talk about what a lift that can be, that save on the penalty shot. For Dartmouth, though, it's... Back to business here with 50 seconds to go on the kill. It's discouraging that an opportunity like that goes by the boards. But 8.43 still to go. A lot of time left in this period. And we mentioned how important that first goal is for Union. You want to keep this game level right now for at least 50 more seconds and get back to five on five. Townley with a faceoff win. The big green try to clear. Villegas holds the zone. Ferguson, great pass down low. Hanley back to Ferguson at the points. 37 seconds left on the Dorfman high-sticking minor. Now Josh Nixon and Ferguson playing pass. There's a tip in front and a save by Black. Two chances down low. Eamonen had the second whack at it, but Black covers up. Cooper, Cooper Black staying nice and big down after making that first save off his far pad. The rebound didn't get as far away from him. So we'll get a look at the overhead. Eamonen, though, using that long reach out in front. Hard to get it around those long legs, though, of Cooper Black, who's got that big paddle down as well to really secure things along the ice. Face off controlled by Prokop now after the win. Cross ice. MacArthur. Work down low. Burr back to the point. Prokop. 12 seconds left on the power play. Prokop just itching for an opportunity, but he's got Lokenberg right in his shooting lane. Lokenberg still there. Centering pass, good work, a shot blocked. MacArthur works it down low, power play is over. And this is deflected, maybe up and out of play. It was taken by Burr. Let's see where the faceoff is, but either way, both teams now 0 for 1 on the power play. I want to say that was more of a pass there from Burr. He was in tight to the goal line, it was a sharp angle. But you never know, trying to just play a puck on net, and the big green able to deflect it off the surface. Two strong efforts on the penalty kill from both these sides to start things off. Billy Eamon on the draw once again for the Garnet Chargers. Luke Hames for the big green. And that's a sign that both of these teams are engaged early on in this series. Nothing is going to be given here for either side. Nixon couldn't hold the zone. Three on two, maybe developing, although Eamon got back quickly. But in front, the backhand may not have gotten on goal. I think Cal Mel made the save there. Ball hockey save there. Pretty good form on the butterfly, too, from number three down there on defense. Even a knocked down on the corner by Cooper Flinton. Flinton and Hames have both been torrid lately as far as their scoring pace is concerned. Fusco trying to get away from Eamon, who's been a pest here early. The big green, work it out. Luke Hames into the offensive zone toward Flinton, broken up by Ferguson. 
Mentioned Flinton, 13 points in his last seven games, seven goals, six assists. Nixon left the puck. McCray will clear for the big green. Chisholm weaving into the offensive zone. Chisholm trying to turn on the Jets past Prokoff. Chisholm back to the points. Desilet and Matt Fusco. There's Dorfman now to Joey Musa. Matt Fusco at the point. There's a shot that deflected just over the crossbar as Chisholm and Prokop both kind of combined to screen Chauvet. That might have even grazed off Prokop too, who's going to try and get on the rush here. Viegas holds, trying to put that in front. They score. It was the Viegas pass that was touched home, and Union gets the very important first goal. Not sure who that hit on the way through, but it looks like Nick Young is going to lead the line. Everybody got up ice quickly there for the Garnet Chargers with Viegas carrying the puck. And you see Young just able to get past Desilet. And Viegas knows where he needs to lay that puck into space. And it's just going to flutter in to the open side. A tough break for the big green and for Young. Showing what you get there when you drive hard to the net. Get a piece is all you need. And Union gets a very important goal. When they score first, it is impressive. 12-1-1 one one during the regular season. Don't usually see Nick Young up there. He's more known for his defense, just his second goal of the season. He leads the team in block shots with 58. But that time, great touch to open the scoring for the Garnet Chargers. Kraus racing. Ferguson will beat him by a couple of strides. That's an icing on Dartmouth. Big Green playing from behind on the season. 1-9-7 this year, but their win came in the last game of the season against Yale. And you're hoping they can lean on that recent experience. These two teams played a bit of a barn burner back in late February, a 5-4 win for Dartmouth, but that saw plenty of lead changes. The Big Green gave up a 3-1 lead in the second period of that game, got themselves back up 5-3, so can't get down after the first goal by any means, but it certainly is going to give Union a boost because they do not play well when trailing. D.J. Hart's first shift, trying to put that down low and connect with Nate Hanley, who was heading to the net. Big Green golf it down the ice again. This will be another icing. D.J. Hart back to play it. He was leading the chase. Voario was trying to get there with Townley, but to no avail, the faceoff back in the Big Green defensive zone. Shots favoring Union, 6-5. And, of course, they have the only goal, Nick Young, second of the season from Caden Villegas. And we mentioned how Union is dangerous when they're moving quickly up through the neutral zone, and that time they take advantage of a miscue. Big Green unable to connect, thinking they had numbers through up ice, and Nick Young, as you mentioned, Rob, not noted for his offense, but he knew where to go, and Union able to capitalize as a result. Just put to Sorkin, and he tips it just wide, and penalty coming up here. A hooking call goes against the Garnet Chargers. As Hames there with Ryan Sorkin who just missed tying the score. We'll see it again. Big Green moving up with some speed. Sorkin trying to get to the goal and you see him there as he went into the crossbar. Got just pulled enough there from behind to warrant a hook and liked what the Big Green were able to do in terms of their first power play. Quick zone entries and maintaining the puck. Everyone getting a touch but they need to get some more through to goal here, trying to test Chalvet. And we've mentioned that this is a Garnet Chargers team that you can take advantage of defensively, but on the penalty kill, they know how to buckle it down. Jeanette and Hames on the draw. And Hames a face-off win, Big Green with possession. C.J. Foley pressed to the boards, though, by Tupker, who got there quickly. And Ben Tupker's an outstanding penalty killer. We saw that at Cornell for a couple of seasons, and now here. Now the Big Green into the offensive zone. Back toward the point, John Fusco can't hold it in. And the Big Green are offside. Unlike the first power play, this power play starting off a bit jittery, fully pressured right away there by the elder statesman Tupker. Dartmouth needs to try and settle things down here and start with Hames looking to win the draw. He wins another one. Big Green reset at their own blue line. McDonald to Fusco, knocked away by Prokop, and that sends the Big Green back down to their end of the ice. Union just, as you said, Rob, they waste no time in turning your mistakes into clears. 
And for the big green, puck management crucial here for the next buck 20. Fusco into the offensive zone. They'll rattle that around the boards. Chisholm trying to find Hames behind the goal. Back near side. That's where the big green has to do it. Use the entire zone and separate these Garnet Chargers players. Fusco down low. They center it. And it's a scrum in front. Too many Garnet Chargers. The eventual clear made by Nick Young, who's got the only goal so far. Matt Fusco picks it up behind the goal for Dartmouth. Fusco drops that off. Uses pass deflected. Sorkin back to play it. Watkins forcing the pressure. Now Dorfman with it. Had a chance to find Chisholm behind the defense. Chisholm has it here. Chisholm trying to find Dorfman. Just above the blue paint, the pass didn't connect. And that's intercepted by Cullen Ferguson, who's had a tremendous defensive first period for Union. 24 seconds remaining. Big green power play, their second of the game. 1-0 the score, Nick Young's goal is second of the season. Caden Villegas, the only one so far. Dorfman rolls into the offensive zone. There's Young again. Cleared again by Union. John Fusco back over the blue line with five seconds to go on the power play. Loki heard behind the goal. Good work on the boards. Young diving back in the play to the point. There's a shot. Put down low. Wraparound chances loose in front, and Loki Bird came awful close. Wario down to a knee. Just couldn't get his stick to that. Pro Cop. Excellent defending there, just strong enough. Ferguson behind the goal, slammed by Kraus. There's Prokop again. Almost lost it to Kraus, but he emerges. Townley checks him, back comes Union. Nixon cross ice to Tupker. Here's a feed and a shot just wide by Eamonen. He had the opportunity in alone. Slipped right down the middle that time to Eamonen. He's a big man too, hard to miss that at 6-3, but he got in all alone that time and didn't miss by much. Ferguson at the points, holds the shot, fakes out Kraus. Ferguson shoots, and a save made by Cooper Black. He'll hold on to that with 2.49 remaining in the first period. Good tracking there from Black. Had to jump out around several bodies to make that save. As we'll get a look at this shift from the big green, the deflection, and then the track down from Lokiberg. Couldn't get it on to Chauvet, but filtered it through the crease, and he had Vuario there. Just could not set him up because of... John Prokop's imposing presence as it oftentimes is in front of the Union goal. Liam Robertson, one of the best face-off men in the country, but couldn't win this one. Smedsrud holds it in, however. Sharpened here for the big green. Cam McDonald's. And Hames in the right wing, but his pass is broken up. Ferguson playing pass with Cal Mel with it. Mel, the Georgia native, back to Ferguson again. Ferguson with a five-game assist streak. Assists in both games against the Big Green this year, in fact. And at the point, Scarlet Chargers turn it over. Big Green work it out. Charpentier wants a change. He'll flip it in. The Big Green will get five new players out there with 2.07 remaining. In the first period. McCray battling over there with Brendan Burr. Right in front of the Dartmouth bench. The puck squirts free. Joey Muso works it in onside. Puts the brakes on, but that did not fool Nathan Kelly one bit. Now Burr lifting it up the ice, slowed down by Foley. But there might have been a hand pass there. Union bench thinks so, but no call. Now Kelly with it. Back behind the Union goal. Garnet Chargers work it out up that left wing side. Hanley by himself, fires in the offensive zone. Charpentier is the first one to the puck. Good check by Hanley as he knocks the big defenseman down. Charpentier pops right back up. John Fusco tried to escape with it. Fed out in front toward Chisholm. The big green tried to break it away. The pass is behind Nate Morgan. Young to it here. Slapped in the offensive zone by Burr, who let off the ice. The Garnet Chargers change. C.J. Foley, checked by Nixon. Wario almost took that from Young. Loki Berg there now, but Young has it back. Feathers a pass into the offensive zone for Viegas, who's in, and a kick save made by Cooper Black. Eminent, loose in the corner, tried to center it, bounced off Black. Josh Waters for Dartmouth clears it. Loki Berg in close to tying the score. Dumping in behind the goal, John Prokop there, a studying presence. Out there with Nick Young. Fuario for the big green, fires it right back in with 31 seconds remaining. 
in this first period. Nixon working his way back up ice, avoiding Haynes. This will make it to the goal line, but Robinson's, uh, Robertson's there. Haynes checked by Smedsrud. And Cooper Flinton now. 13 seconds remaining in the first period. Garnet charges. Looks like they'll take a 1 0 lead into the intermission, but they'd love to get a second one. Here's Mel. Checked by McDonald. Smedsrud a shot. Deflects to the backboards, and that'll be it on period number one. The opportunistic goal from Nick Young, the only one so far. You got to think that Dartmouth had better spurts in that opening period, Rob, but for the Garnet Chargers, they will take to the intermission with the lead, and for them, that can really mean the difference between winning and losing hockey games, at least this season. The up and down campaign, it has been for them, so they did what they needed to do in that first period, got through the penalty kill, a big save on the penalty shot by Chauvet, and then Nick Young, who only had one goal all season, gets a big one here to open up the scoring in game one. The Garnet Chargers weather that early storm, they have a one nothing lead. We'll come back and show you all the highlights coming up right after this. It's one nothing Union here in Hanover. Geico makes car insurance easy. As easy as getting stuffed up during allergy. For the second year in a row, Chevy Equinox has been ranked by J.D. Power number one in new vehicle. Geico makes car insurance easy. As easy as reinventing yourself after a haircut. Geico makes car insurance easy. As easy as reinventing yourself after a haircut. Hello, hello, hello. Is that my third grade teacher? Hey, Miss J. I've changed. I have bangs now. Oh, I just got a haircut too. Neat. Ooh, what you got? With 24-7 claim support, it's easy to Geico. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Who's next? For the second year in a row, Chevy Equinox has been ranked by J.D. Power number one in new vehicle quality for compact SUVs. In other words, it's really good right from the start. Chevy Equinox. Do that again. Connected by OnStar. Get 1.9% financing on all 2024 Equinox models. Or current Chevy owners, get 2,500 total cash allowance on this Equinox. See your Central New York Chevy dealers. Apartments.com has helped millions of renters find their places, and they all have a special place in my heart, which is why I keep a picture of each and every one of them in my wallet. Ah, uh, get in there. Get in there. Oh, holy cat. Wow. Oh, hey, I know all these people. There's Sally, and there's Billy. Oh, I'm thinking. Oh, you know you can put these on your phone, right? And, and miss all this fun? <laughs> Apartments.com, the place to find a place. Hey, with Priceline VIP Family, you can unlock deals five times faster. You don't even have to be an actual family. Oh, I'd yeah. be the dad. I'm the dad. Hey, physically, it's clear that I'm the dad. Okay, so which dad is paying? You're, You're the, the dad. dad. Go to your happy price, Priceline. Hey, man. You like Dr. Pepper? I do. <laughs> it's a pepper thing. Target Circle Week is here with thousands of deals. Join Target Circle for free and get automatic savings on the things that make you, you. Target Circle Week, April 7th to the 13th. It's a big deal. The 
Big Green come away with the victory. Dartmouth knocks out Harvard in overtime. Hi, I'm Trevor Michelson. I'm the head coach of the men's lightweight rowing team here at Dartmouth. Kenley Walsh, head coach of Equestrian. We're here at the Hanover Inn for a coach's conversation. Yeah. Okay, um, what's the most ridiculous fact you know? That's a hard one. Yeah. There's like 27 bones in the foot or something Is like that. Is that true? I don't know, there's a lot of bones in the foot, <laughs> I think. Okay. Yeah, that's a bad, that's a bad I, I answer. I believe you. Yeah, that's a bad I answer. I don't know. I don't know, let me go, can I give a couple shots? Yeah, most ridiculous thing I know. Um, it's so hard. There was a, a woman in India who ate her hair. She was like, that was her nervous tick. And it, she, her hair, your hair doesn't get digested. And so her stomach filled with hair, a giant hairball. And she had to go to the hospital and they had to cut it out. So be careful if you chew your hair. I'm not going to do that. That's my most ridiculous. <laughs> I'm going to go with that one. That's the one I'm settling on. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, this is good for you. If you could ask a horse any question, what would it be? Oh my gosh. I think about this on a daily basis. I bet, yeah. I, bet. Um, I don't know if I have a, like, one perfect answer. Um, I think uh, just kind of like, how happy are you doing this job? <laughs> it's kind of a, a little one. too serious. No, no, yeah. Um, yeah, or we've, we've got one horse up at the farm, and he um, he always gets sick. And so I'd probably ask him, like, what do we need to do to keep you healthy? Why are you always getting sick, Why are you always man? getting sick? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Trevor, what would you ask? Yeah, I'd say, is it true you'll just run till you fall? You know, they always say horses will just race till they die. Yeah. Right? Is, do, you know, do you know if that's true? I mean, I've heard that. Yeah. Yeah. Have you tried it? No. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Make your debit card green. Big green. Select from 16 options by visiting any Ledyard Bank location or calling 888-746-4562. Ledyard's online and mobile banking includes free personal mobile check deposit so you can show all your Dartmouth pride on your home turf. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Dartmouth. This is a school with a sense of place, a sense of purpose. A member of the Ivy League, Dartmouth is a liberal arts college embedded in a research university where undergraduates have direct access to our world-class faculties in arts and sciences, business, medicine, and engineering. With more than $100 million in need-based scholarships available, we'll help you achieve your goals. Come visit. We'd love to meet you. Hi, I'm Pierre LeBlanc, President of Engelberth Construction. For over 40 years, we've been recognized as one of the largest and most dynamic commercial construction companies in northern New England. As a premier builder and partner of Dartmouth Athletics, we have built many facilities on campus. And at Engelberth Construction, we truly believe in building relationships for life. Go Big Green.
Journey and Tyler Arrego back here with you. Game one of the ECAC quarterfinals here in Hanover, New Hampshire. You see the score of the Union College Gar Garnet Chargers with a one nothing lead over Dartmouth after 20 minutes. And it was a period that certainly had chances for the Big Green. They were just slightly outshot, eight to seven. And really, when you look at that period, it comes down to the missed opportunities that Dartmouth did have in that opening period. Union didn't have much either. Both teams kind of playing a back and forth, settling, settling into this contest and into this opening round. And really, it was the Garner Chargers who benefited just getting a break off a rush, getting four guys up the ice quickly. And that really, Rob, is the difference after 20 minutes. It wasn't the first period where it was all about taking advantage of opportunities. And I uh, see the stats right now. Big Green were outshot in that period. But you really have to look at that as the last half of the period. Union came alive. They weathered that early storm for the Big Green and really kind of took control of the second half of this first period. Got rewarded with that Nick Young goal. And it seemed like after the Big Green got through that penalty kill, it was really that break, or rather penalty shot save from Chauvet that I think made a difference in turning things around for the Garnet Chargers. That kept the game scoreless while they were still on the power play. And while they didn't score on that power play, they came back with some good shifts in the attacking zone. And then with that four-man attack and using their speed up ice, were able to counter quickly against the Big Green and bury one. Yeah, we can show you those uh, highlights as well from that first period, the Big Green with the opportunity first. And let's take a look at this first period. This was a shot from the point. Cooper Black was able to make the save on, and then we'll see the C.J. Foley bid getting the steal on Hanley and drawing what would be a penalty shot. We weren't sure what Foley was going to do on it. He took a rather simplistic approach, and Chauvet just eyed him down there one-on-one, -on -one. and those feel good as a goaltender. As the Garnet Chargers started to buzz a little bit more around Cooper Black's crease. And we mentioned near misses for the Big Green. They were all around the net, but at times failed to get pucks through. And then Caden Vivegas just threading a puck into the middle. And Nick Young, who doesn't do a ton of goal scoring, gets that big frame right down to the net, able to just outmuscle muscle and it just deflects off him and in for only goal so far here from Hanover. Week for awards this week. A lot of the ECAC awards were handed out, and uh, Union got a couple of names mentioned. No surprises in their two award winners. John Prokop, of course, on defense. We mentioned him plenty of times already in that first period of play. The 35 points and 27 assists certainly stand out in a very well-deserved first-team honor. Prokop, one of those defenders who does not sacrifice defense for offense. And then Liam Robertson, named to the second team, a tremendous season for the senior, 23 points, 10 of them goals, and we mentioned it on that first power play for the Garnet Chargers. He's got seven power play goals this year. So one nothing after one period, back for the second in Hanover, coming up on ESPN+. Plus. GEICO makes car insurance easy. Say when. As easy as loving Parmesan. Say when. Say when. Say when. When? Oh, fresh ground pepper? Oh, yes please. With 24-7 emergency roadside service, it's easy to get go. Oh, can we get a box? Of course. It all starts with a Chevy truck. Chevy Silverado with the Turbo Max engine and best in class standard torque. And Chevy Silverado HD with up to 14 available camera views. Do more in a Chevy truck. Get yours now. Current Chevy owners get 6,000 total value on this Silverado when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Or during Chevy truck season, get as low as 0.9% financing on all 2024 Silverado 1500 pickups. See your central New York Chevy dealers. At apartments.com, every time a new listing is added, uh, we get this alert, so no. No, or, ah. Uh, uh, now, of course, after hearing it millions of times, I barely even notice it anymore. Uh, okay, everybody goes, everybody goes, everybody goes, everybody goes. That's not right. Apartments.com, the, pl the place to find a place. So I can take all these trips because Priceline has all these amazing deals. 
Look. The deals are hatching. And that's when I said, deal. <laughs> Quarterfinals underway here tonight and elsewhere. Take a look at the score. Quinnipiac has a goal for Anthony Cipollone, 145 in. And actually, Jacob Quillen has just scored as I looked at that. They now lead 2-0 over RPI. Cornell, three goals in the first period from Jack O'Leary, Sullivan Mack, and Ryan Walsh. They have that 3-0 lead. And no score between Colgate and St. Lawrence in Hamilton, New York tonight. So here, 1-0 Union. A lone goal by Nick Young in period number one, his second of the season. Big Green have to play from behind against a Union team that has never lost this season. They are perfect when leading after one period of play. 11-0-0 on the year. The Big Green playing from behind 0-5-2. So if Dartmouth wants to win game one, they'll have to reverse a trend. Like much as they did last time they were here against Yale when they conceded the first goal and won that game. First time that happened all season. It's not how you start, but it's always in how you finish. And for the Big Green, there were positives in that start. He can highlight those near misses and the penalty shot save, but they controlled things in the face-off department. They won 70% of the draws in that first period, 14 out of the 20. So things to continue to build off of here in this second period, a game that's far from over. But for Union, this is where they want it to be after 20 minutes. They feel comfortable, but although I'm sure not content. Five on five hockey to start period number two. The Big Green win the faceoff, and we are underway. Sean Chisholm's line out there right now with Braden Dorfman and Joey Musa. Nate Hanley with Brandon Burr and Ben Tupker. Nick Young on defense with John Prokop. Charpentier and John Fusco out there defensively for the Big Green. Tupker had it, lost it to Musa. The Big Green dump it in. Prokop behind the goal. Turned it over to Dorfman, who was alert in the play. Now McCray at the points. Chisholm behind the goal, a reach, but he gathered in the puck. Charpentier shooting through traffic, they score! Dorfman set the screen, Charpentier fired. Let's see who claims the goal. Yeah, it looks like it's Dorfman, either way it's 1-1. Well, that's how you start a period right there. 33 seconds in, all that Dartmouth needed to tie this game up. Sean Chisholm using his reach to stoke it back up to the point. And then Brandon Burr, won't provide much better of a screen there as Charpentier takes the indirect feed right through the wickets of Burr and then right through the wickets of Chauvet. I think that's Charpentier's goal, Rob, but they're going to credit it to Dorfman, who certainly was in front, but it looked like that puck just went cleanly in along the ice after it got through the legs of the forward Burr out high. Exactly the start the big green needed. Either way, if it's going to be Dorfman or Charpentier, both those players have been red hot to close the season. Dorfman had two goals in his last three games, and Charpentier has been on a streak as well. Three goals and two assists in his last five. Charpentier was letting it fly in that first period, had a couple shots off the mark. Nice to see that one get on target. Look out, here comes Watkins. He rings it off the crossbar. Smedsrud back to Watkins again. Centering pass. Black makes the save that time on Liam Robertson. Great response by the Garnet Chargers, but it stays 1-1. We saw back in the first period, Billy Emanen had a chance getting right down the middle unchecked and he just missed to the glove side. That time, Watkins all alone down the wing and he ripped one off the bend of the post there, trying to beat Black high glove side and then Black responding, tracking the play, staying within his post and making an excellent move from right to left to Fort Robertson. Right off the elbow. Always love it when they get that help from the iron. It's a beautiful sound indeed. Sorkin for the big green toward Kraus. He was turned the wrong way. Sorkin toward Kraus again. This time it hopped the sophomore stick. Joseph Messina in the offensive zone for the Garnet Chargers. Fusco being badgered by Eminent. Now it's Stephen Townley for Dartmouth. Townley ran into a little trouble there with Viegas, but managed to escape. And Kraus plays it to center ice. Sorkin in, he bounced off Messina. First one there is Kelly behind the goal, the senior defenseman as the Big Green make a change. Now a turnover, Huario feeds that back into Trim Lokiberg. Those two almost wove some magic in period one. Huario shoots off the side of the net. Huario looking for his first goal. Had five assists on the season. Had an assist in the last series at home against Brown. Nate Morgan behind the goal, Lokiberg. Matt Fusco at the points. Big Green energized by that goal. They've been a great start to period number two. 
Now Vuario checked. Vuario absorbs that check though from Messina as the two rookies battle. This line's done a really good job, Rob, setting a physical presence for the big green in the attacking zone. They're doing a lot of work along the boards. Vuario with a borderline cross check, but nothing called. Scari behind the goal, trying to spin away. as Watkins there with him. Wario regains the puck, back to the point. That's Fusco again who shoots, knocked down. Matt Fusco with it again for a shot, just over the crossbar as Chisholm was tied up with Joseph Messina in front. First two minutes and 50 seconds here outside of the clanging of the crossbar by Liam Robertson. It's been all big green. McCray to Desilet who walks in, he shoots, and that went off a defenseman in front. I think that hit Nathan Kelly. Space closed off very quickly there for Desilet who had room to walk in. Garner Dorfman. charges under duress. Here's the pass back to Dorfman and Chisholm, but the shot never comes. Foley at the point, couldn't hold the zone. The big green will regroup at center ice. Keep your foot down on the gas here if you're Dartmouth. This is the period of the long change, and Union can't get guys off right now. Jeanette behind the goal. Right over to the wall, Foley cheats in to hold the zone once again, knocking away from Ben Tupker. You've got Hanley practically cowboyed on the bench right now. He can't wait to get out for a shift, but his team can't change. Can't get out there as Chisholm has it now. Some tired legs out there. And maroon and black. Garnet and black to be specific. <laughs> Here's Charpentier, he fires. Great block. Charpentier again shoots and blocked again. Both defensemen out there. Kelly with one block. Actually, Tupker got the other one. Kelly's going to have a few bumps and bruises after this shift. Kelly, of course, blocks plenty. There's a shot wide, the big green. Continue their pressure in the offensive zone. Foley, that bounces wide. The Garnet Chargers will likely get their change here as they'll clear it. Charpentier gloved it down, however. Let's see if Union can make the change. They will get a partial change at least. Here's Sorkin, though. He has a trailer, drops it off. Fusco shot, rebound free, but it's covered up by Chauvet. Just in the nick of time, too. Alex Kraus sniffing in the blue paint. And was that ever a whistle that the Carnage Chargers needed? You'll see that again as Kraus was there lurking, trying to find some loose change. And the big green almost had it stripped there, but Sorkin was able to chug out of his own zone. And he had a lot of options along with time. Found a trailer, and then Chauvet, a little trouble there with the shot, juggled it for a moment. Luckily, though, found it. Right before Kraus. Chauvet, the Granite State goalie from Goffstown, New Hampshire. Played at Loomis Chafee, which means if he was a women's hockey player, he'd probably find himself right here in the big green because that's where it seems like almost every Loomis player ends up. About half the roster, you could say. Seems like it. Chauvet, it's remarkable. His 21st consecutive start, Rob. And when he allows less than two goals, he's 11-1-2. More than three, he's 4-13-1. Sorkin with an opportunity there off the McRae shot. Now the Garnet Chargers in the offensive zone. Kraus behind the goal after Robinson checked McRae. Smedsrud's going to go as he was tangled up with Kraus. Now the big green back up ice. John Fusco slowing the play down. Now has help just on the ice. A shot. And that's deflected. Glove save made by Chauvet. It's up into the mesh. And the big green get power play number three. I think Smedsrud's going to argue that Kraus went down a little easy. On that trip, he's got a bit of a grin as he glides to the box. But the third power play coming up here for the Big Green. And you don't know how many you're afforded in a game. This is a real tough penalty kill to penetrate, but with a chance now to take the lead, we know how Union struggles when they fall behind. And Dartmouth has really been on the accelerator to start this second period. You want this power play to keep things moving. 86.4% for the Garner Chargers on the kill coming into this game. They're two for two tonight. Third in NCAA hockey. And a big strength for Josh Howgey's bunch this year. The big green control the faceoff. Looking to get ahead for the first time with a man advantage. Smedsrud's in the box. Watch out for this Garner Chargers team, though, to turn a penalty kill into offense. They have eight shorthanded goals this season. Dartmouth's allowed five on the year, so certainly got to be careful of that. Fusco, a glove save by Chauvet. He saw that one all the way and holds on. And ben Tucker's got a couple of shorthanded goals. Carter Corpy has three. Ace off will be in the big green offensive zone, 18 seconds into the Smeds Rude minor. Some guys don't even collect a shorthanded goal in the course of a season, maybe even in their career, let alone three. So when number 12's out there in Crimson, you got to be careful. Foley behind the goal. 
Back to Fusco at the point. Foley shoots. It's wide. Heavy carom to Flinton. Couldn't work that in front. Alert play by John Prokop defensively. If Flinton could have dragged that in front, it's probably a power play goal. What impresses me still with this Garnet Charger power play, or penalty kill rather, is as soon as they get to a puck, it is off their stick and out in a hurry. They yeah. waste no time in looking for that perfect outlet. And it forces this Dartmouth power play to start all the way from their own zone. Young takes a whack at it. Sorkin behind the goal. And a penalty coming up here to Sorkin. That's going to end the big green power play early. But not yet as the Garnet Chargers in control. Eminent into the offensive zone. Corpy on side as Musa checks Eminent. Now Sorkin is going to be penalized. Touches the puck. And there'll be 51 seconds of four on four hockey until the Union gets their second power play of the game. John Prokop is not an easy man to get position on. And at six foot three, he is imposing. And Sorkin trying to do his job on the four check. You know what he's going to bring. He's there to hound the puck down and throw his weight. And that time trying to get underneath Prokop. Ends up using the stick a bit too much and he gets around the defender's gloves and enough to draw a hook, which will kill off the rest of the 51 seconds on Smedsrud's penalty. So four on four hockey. Hanley and Chisholm on the draw. And the linesman. Ryan Knapp will do that again. Jason Williams and Tom Steinel are referees. Jason Shaddy, the other linesman. Matt Fusco gathering the puck, working up ice. Joey Musa into the offensive zone. Musa tried to find Chisholm with a behind the back pass. Chisholm ends up with it anyway. Chisholm holding, waiting. Sharpened to your back at the points. Chisholm ran into a bit of trouble there as he held it too long and drew a crowd. Both Viegas and DJ Hartz converged to steal it. Actually scratched that. It was Cal Mel, 3 not 2 Mel drops that off to Viegas at the blue line. It's stolen. Big Green have the rush. A 2-on-0 developing here. McDonald, they score! Fusco and McDonald make it 2-1. I was going to just say for Dartmouth, don't go into penalty killing mode too soon. 51 seconds of four on four time. And Matt Fusco forces the issue at his own line, the give and the go. And it's no better feeling to be on the receiving end than a play like that. You do the job defensively and you get rewarded on the offensive end of things. And Sean Chisholm, the elder statesman, boy has he been leading tremendously down the stretch for this big green squad. It's been impressive what he's done really playing some of his best hockey here of his Dartmouth tenure. Matt Fusco had two assists the last time these two teams played up in Schenectady. His second goal of the season is a big one. Here come the Big Green again. They might have numbers again, shorthanded. Here's a shot off the iron. Very, very close for the Big Green taking the lead. It was Cam McDonald who set up the last goal in the 2-1-0. Now the Garnet Chargers back. Smedsrud fresh from the box. Robinson's cross ice pass to Prokop. Went high. Taken down by Trim Lokiberg, and he clears just by Robertson. Now you've got to settle things down and engage here for the next 40 seconds. Mindset has to be on defending the house and protecting things in front of Black because you know that Union is going to want to try and respond as quick as they can here. John Prokop, first team ECAC All-Star. Brandon Burr, the former Golden Knight from Clarkson. Back behind the goal, Lokiberg there with John Fusco trying to work it free. John Fusco had it. Now the big green control, charpentier has got plenty of time. Musa calls for it, passes a little bit out of his reach, and he'll peel off for a change. Ten seconds left in the abbreviated power play for the Garnet Chargers. Time for one more rush if they hurry. Hanley, nifty pass. pass ahead into the offensive zone. Better defense by Charpentier as he took that away from Josh Nixon. Sorkin's behind the play if they can find him, so it won't be an icing. Look out. Chauvet comes out to play that. The Big Green get a change. Sorkin looking to avoid Messina. Back at the point. Tucker McRae shoots through traffic looking for the deflection from Hames. He might have gotten a tip, but it was wide. He did. Just couldn't get it onto the stick side there. I was going to say it was a curious decision by Chauvet to pitch. Chisholm throwing that to the front of the goal to Hames, who comes close. Fusco's shot, and that's smothered in front. Both Kelly and the goaltender Chauvet both there. And the whistle blows for the faceoff. What a first eight minutes and 34 seconds of this second period for the home side. Well, it seems like there hasn't been a moment to catch any breath, so 
will take a time now to do so because Dartmouth has just had their foot down on the gas and it started with that goal 33 seconds in. A pair of rookie defensemen in on the mix and for that play to materialize, it does not start that two on zero without the defensive effort first from Matt Fusco. In with a two on two, Watkins. Fusco will fend that off. And Watkins trying to pursue and Fusco kept him at bay. Foley. Luke Haynes, he's had a quiet night so far, and the Garnet Chargers hope to keep it that way. Flinton behind the goal. He's wrapped up. Into the offensive zone now, Smeds Rude. Fusco. Tyler Watkins arrives before Chisholm, shielding the puck off with his body, a centering pass. That's given up to the big green. Out they come, Sean Chisholm as John Fusco going with him. Oh, great diving play by Cal Mel to make sure that pass never reached Fusco. Threes canceling each other out there. Deflected in front. That was Chisholm on the Sharpentier shot. Big Green continue to pour on some pressure. Sharpentier shoots and fires wide. Nate Morgan just on the ice. And that's slowed down by Viegas. Viegas lurking there, and Wario knew it. That's why he didn't try to feed Matt Fusco at the point that time. Stephen Townley pressed in the corner. Doing a great job. Shielding the puck. There's Robertson now. Big Green have won a lot of these battles tonight, Rob, along the boards, and it's been this cast of characters to get it done. Referee wants the puck moved. And finally, they oblige. Nate Morgan knocked it out of there. It's like a break in billiards. Big Green almost stole that near the blue line. Great work by Morgan to force the play back. Now the Big Green at their own blue line. Played ahead to Joey Musa, who's lined up by Robertson. Avoided the check. Charpentier weaves his way in to shoot. A blocker save made by Chauvet. Big check put on Charpentier behind the goal. The Garnet Chargers throwing their weight around now down 2-1. Halfway through the second period. John Fusco thought about cheating in. Did not do so. Probably the wise move. As into the offensive zone, Villegas stripped by Musa. Good work by Lokiberg there to cover. Charpentier was caught a little bit up ice. Young has the goal for the Garnet Chargers. Nixon in the corner. Matt Fusco there battling. Ben Tupker pushes Fusco to the boards. 9.07 remaining second period. Good one going on here in Hanover. Young at the points. Got one already. Would love a second, but defers. Passing off. Prokop feeds behind the goal. This is better from Union. Unlucky bounce for the Garnet Chargers, but it came right back to Tupker. His shot deflected to Nixon. They rev it up again. Nate Hanley shooting. Deflected by Tupker. It stayed out. And Black got a piece of that shot. Just enough as Hanley there. Contending with Loki Burr. Center to Burr. Blocked by Matt Fusco. Big Green now are the ones hemmed in the defensive zone. Great shift from the Garnet Chargers. Prokop to Young. Young pulls the trigger. Kick save made. Loki Burr has it. The Big Green will clear. And Loki Burr feathers it down the ice and made a big check from Young just as he dropped the puck. Union onside here. There was an opportunity for Colby MacArthur to stick tied up. I'm not sure if Trim caught something up high there along the chin, but he went up grabbing his face briefly. Now the big green a little discombobulated now, a little confusion. Dorfman turned that over. Kept into the point for a shot, deflected, rebound, score! The turnover fatal, Colby MacArthur ties the game. Well, when you fail once to clear the puck, you might be able to get away with it, but twice on the same shift, and you're not going to find the same fortune. You said discombobulated, and right there, Dorfman just couldn't get it out. Black able to make the first save, and Fusco just unable to turn and face his man. And for MacArthur, impressive play there to bat that out of midair over the glove of Black in tight to the goal, too. Reed Cashman over talking to the referee at the bench. I wonder if they'll challenge us for offside. Because when the play first started, it seemed to me like they came in early, and we'll see if they talk about that replay. And the puck didn't leave the zone. Now, yeah, they're going to look for an offside here. And I wondered about that when they entered. But it happened so long before the goal, I kind of forgot about it. We'll see it here. And it's that far wing. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He was miles offside. This goal won't stand. Right there on the... That's what I saw earlier, but I forgot. It, it happened so long before the goal. And 
You know, personally, I don't really like it when they take that long after a play to be able to review a goal, but it's still legal to do so. There's no way that goal should stand. Well, that's something I've always maintained with these offside reviews is I feel that there should be a time limit yeah. on the moment of the zone entry to the time of the goal itself, but Josh Hanley Hall. trying to send in the goal scorer, MacArthur, and at that look on the replay, certainly does appear as though Union was offside. That's what they're looking at. There really can't be any doubt. The fans behind the glass there seem to think it's no goal. The Big Green certainly had plenty of opportunities to clear while Union had possession, so the Garnet Chargers will be hard done by if this does come back, because that offside was miles before the goal was scored. Now have to figure out what time to put back on the clock. Yeah, at least a minute. And it's been that collection of players for Union that's been dangerous. Hanley has been in the middle of things, and it's that certainly close. looks like an offside. Hard to see how this goal will stand if that is indeed the case, challenging for offside. They're still down there, and they're not looking at the play, so I wonder if they're actually looking at the time now. I don't know. It was closer in that second look than I thought of the first one. That first play, it seemed like the Union skater was well ahead. He did try to slow down a bit. Well, the question then becomes that trailing skate. Yep. So that first skate was certainly into the white ice before the puck. And that's what Josh Howge is waiting to hear the news about to see if his team has tied the game. Colby MacArthur certainly hopes so. He's the man who seems to have tied it with his fifth goal of the season, the sophomore from Summerside, Prince Edward Island. This little break will give Dartmouth chance to regroup there, a rare moment in their defensive zone where things unraveled and you see how Union was able to take advantage of it. Now we just remain to see if this is a 2-2 or 2-1 game as Cooper Black waits on with the rest of us. Certainly had no chance on the goal if it does stand. I think we're about to find out. Tom Steinel, looks like he's about to put the helmet back on. Fans are pretty determined. Let's see. Adjudication coming and further adjudication. No goal. And again, personally speaking, I, I hate that rule. But it benefits the big green here. Because it was a good. Well, the cycle well, and everything minute, that followed it was. There's a minute and change put back on the clock. And this is probably going to send us to our media timeout as well as we haven't waited long enough. Yes, we will end back go to break. Still 2-1 Dartmouth after all that here in Hanover. GEICO makes car insurance easy. As easy as getting stuffed up during allergy season. Before all the pollen, I used to stop and smell everything. The smell of fresh cut grass, my coffee in the morning, the hot dog smell from the hot dog guy. You did this to me. With an app that puts your policy in your pocket, it's easy to Geico. Curse you, ragweed pollen! <laughs> For the second year in a row, Chevy Equinox has been ranked by J.D. Power number one in new vehicle quality for compact SUVs. In other words, it's really good right from the start. Chevy Equinox. Do that again. Connected by OnStar. Get 1.9% financing on all 2024 Equinox models. Or current Chevy owners, get 2,500 total cash allowance on this Equinox. See your Central New York Chevy dealers. Gator Light. Rapid rehydration with a specialized blend of five electrolytes and lower sugar. Hydration for every athlete, forever. Breaks go either way in games, and puck luck has to be on your side to win the playoffs, and the Big Green just got a big dose of puck luck right there. Successful offside challenge. Surprised me, though, they put about 25 seconds on the 
scoreboards. Who I very much misjudged the time that Union had possession in the offensive zone. Or two oh. goals for Dartmouth in this second period, and you can score one for the hockey ops department as well. Yeah, that was a Corker big break. Made that call immediately. Robertson to Watkins. Here come the Garnet Chargers again. McCray snuffs out the pass. Watkins back to Mel at the points. Dartmouth needs to commit to things defensively again. It's starting to get loose, and the Garnet Chargers setting up shop. Mel with it now. They would love to score one that counts. Tie this game as Mel shoots. Nets up off its moorings. Where's the faceoff going to be? Tucker McCray says it was Someone out there in the dark uniform, either Robertson or Watkins, who pushed it off its moorings, but it looks like the faceoff will stay inside the Dartmouth defensive zone. I don't think McCray is going to win that argument. Me neither. It wasn't the goaltender black for sure, but McCray and Watkins just doing what the playoffs are all about, and that's battling for that real estate in front of the goal. And at times it's going to lead to commotion, but Black keeping his focus where it needs to be, and Cal Mel very shifty on defense. Tremendous junior career split between the NAHL and an Eastern Hockey League alum as well for the Walpole Express. Had two excellent years there and has really blossomed into a fantastic college, collegiate defender, the Alpharetta, Georgia native. See more and more people coming from the Peach State. Really all over when you look at college hockey. It's a beautiful thing. Young's got one already. Won't get two here as Flinton makes the block and Cooper Flinton, tons of blocks. This season, 31 coming into this game, leading all the forwards on the big green. Nixon got a touch on that. There'll be no icing. Josh Nixon, Sasaga, Ontario native, from a Lake Superior State Laker. Prokop back outside his blue line, launches right back in the offensive zone for the Garnet Chargers. Emanen had a stick knocked out of his hands by Foley as they both battled for the puck. CJ Foley, quick pass to Flinton. Flinton trying to Lead his man into the offensive zone, but well played at the blue line to cause the offside as that didn't quite get to McDonald in time. So the faceoff comes in front of the Dartmouth bench. And it was Prokop making the play, as he oftentimes does defensively. And I think when you look at a defenseman with that much in terms of numbers, I find myself saying it all the time, but the fact that there's not a sacrifice in what they're able to do defensively, I think that's what really separates the true offensive defenseman from the overall defenseman and Prokop, arguably the best in the ECAC with easy, what he's been able to do. Easy to see why it was a unanimous first team choice, no question about that. To the face off again with a battle of 22s. Jacob Jeanette out there right now, the first year from Duluth, Minnesota. And the junior trim Loki Berg out there in white for the big green. Jeanette wins the face off back. Jeanette's line with MacArthur and Carter Corpy. Guario in the corner. Knock that back to Morgan. Morgan sending it back toward Ferrario again, but he was cut off there by Messina. Scari's had himself an active game tonight. Corpy looking up ice, knocked down by Fusco. He'll take the high sticking violation there. Make sure MacArthur never got that puck and the face off will be outside the zone. You know, with these three players, Rob, up front at forward, you're not going to look that much for offense in points. But it's what they do along the boards and the hard work that they instill on the forecheck that can really make them just a pain to play against. And for Fuario, who doesn't have a goal this season, just the five assists, it's the most noticeable he's been in my eyes this season, the freshman out of Finland. Black will cover that up. The faceoff, of course, was inside the zone as it was hit by Fusco's high stick. So they'll do that again. Same place. Big Green got a chance to change now, though. They'll send Townley out to take the draw. It was a better faceoff man than Loki Burke. Back Stephen Townley, number two on the team in faceoffs, 53%, which is a huge improvement from where he was at midseason. That's been something that's really advanced in his game. And last season, Townley was winning draws just above 40%, 13% increase for him. That's really been valuable. Dartmouth's improved as a team this year in the faceoff metrics. It's been led by Chisholm, but it's nice to see it trickle all the way down throughout the lineup. Charpentier ahead to Sorkin. It's held in as a shot flutters wide. Burr was there for a tip, but it bounced over his stick. Charpentier for the big green, trapped between two Garnet Chargers. Fusco spinning around, trying to weave his way out. Topker has other ideas. Hanley swats at it. Topker on the puck. Good aggressive first line play from Topker and Hanley with Burr out there with them. And this has been the dangerous line for Union, their top line. Kraus wheels ahead with Townley. 
Kraus slips it in behind the goal line. The Big Green will make another change here as Townley checks Ferguson. Given away to Joey Musa. See so if the Big Green can take advantage of a miscue the way the Garnet Chargers have, but not this time. It's cleared by Hanley into the offensive zone. Dorfman looked up to see if he was being called for tripping. He's not. Now Musa. Stolen away from him by Nick Young. Young's got the union goal. The only one of the first period at 13-28. They thought they had a second goal from MacArthur. An offside challenge by the Big Green successful at the 12-03 mark of this second period. Roberts into Smedsrud for a shot. Kick save made by Black. Was going wide anyway, and Black made sure it stayed there. Joey Muse has been out there a while. He'll back in it ahead toward Chisholm. Chisholm trying to jump around Nick Young, who played it perfectly with his body. Prokop into offer his assistance. Matt Fusco at the points. Fusco scoring his second goal of the year. Here in the second period. Played around to Luke Ames. Ames has not had many touches so far. He shoots, tipped in front. What a save by Chauvet. As Cooper Flinton was there. And almost put it behind the goaltender, but Chauvet somehow kept it out. A big stretch there from Chauvet to stop the big man, Flinton, who was all wrapped up with Robertson. Somehow was even able to present his stick there for the deflection. Charpentier shoots the carom to the back of the goal. Flinton trying to wrap that around, and Prokop wouldn't allow it. Mark that save down from Chauvet here in this second period late. As Dartmouth's going to go shorthanded here, Morgan's going to get a penalty. And Nate Morgan will go. And the big green shorthanded now, a holding call against the Dartmouth senior. This will be the third power play of the game for the Garnet Chargers. Get another look here <laughs> at yep. the penalty, and they've all been pretty obvious in this opening game of this quarterfinal round, and looks like Prokop is also going to the box, too. They sent him for embellishment? I was just thinking Morgan was the only one to go. Josh Howge. <laughs> I can see why Coach Howji's not happy with that call. I thought he was going to hop onto the ice there for a second. I got to assume that's what it was, Rob. Well, they're both going off, so it's four-on-four four hockey. And, yeah, I'd have to say it's embellishment. It's got to be the call. And I don't know. It looked to me in that replay that there's really a case to be made by the Garnet Chargers that they've been wronged by that call. Has not gone their way as far as the breaks here in the second period. Maybe a chance now as Foley's got to get on his horse with Nixon, and Foley just won the race. Nixon has a ton of speed. C.J. Foley somehow able to match that after starting backwards. John Fusco turning away from Emanen. Fusco putting it toward Hames, and it was deflected away. Kelly. Nathan Kelly got the stick there. The senior defenseman maybe saved a goal. Just in the nick of time. That was a thing of beauty from John Fusco. Couldn't have laid it into better ice. Hames Asino. just had it stripped. Seen in Kelly passing. Kelly with it, and it was an embellishment minor. Nixon now with it, a shot, and that's gloved by Cooper Black, and he'll hold on to it. I can get the offside challenge, even if we disagree with the wording of the rules and such, but don't see how, at least on that replay, we got any kind of an embellishment there. That's a tough one for John Prokop, but the Big Green will certainly take the four on four play. We'll take a Morgan for Prokop trade as well as getting guys off the ice, and that's no disrespect to the big green senior. When you take Prokop off, ECAC first teamer with 35 points coming into this game, that's not a bad thing for the big green. And this is a situation, too, with all the open ice, four on four presents. Garner Chargers would love to have Prokop out there instead of sitting for two minutes. Chisholm and Flinton out there at the same time. Of course, they played quite a bit together last season, separated this year as Chisholm's Mostly centering the second line. Putting the wing on the top unit. Matt Fusco. Here's the captain with it here. Fusco called for it. It's behind the goal. Fusco will advance on it. And gave a pretty good bump to the Union defender back there, Cal Mel, who seemed unfazed by it. Mel barely moved. Here's Mel with it here. 45 seconds remaining, a four-on-four four time. Nate Hanley. Ferguson in the offensive zone drops off to Hanley. Foley there with him. Hanley behind the goal. Maybe thinking wrap around, but not anymore. Hanley, great moves in the offensive zone. Ferguson nailed Foley in front. He'll go. It's an interference call. And Cullen Ferguson said, I was just standing there. And Josh Hauge is irate. 
That looked like one of those where Ferguson was trying to set a pick. Yeah, we'll see. This one doesn't seem to be a bad call to make. No, Go. he steps right in front of Foley. And this is not basketball. And even in basketball, I think you're picking up an illegal screen on that one. I think Coach Algie had a point in the first penalty to Prokop, but this one, I would side with the officials. So, and those are the plays sometimes for, that they won't, you know, always get picked up. You try and do it subtly. Four on four, you want to open up some more ice, especially with the way Hanley was wheeling around the zone there. Tremendous edge work from him. That right there is interference, and now 28 seconds of four on three for the big green. And Dartmouth will get power play. Number four in the game. Flitting off the faceoff win back to C.J. Foley. Foley holding, waiting. Hames wants the shot, won't get it yet. Foley takes it and rifles it wide. I think Chauvet got a blocker to that. He might have gotten a touch. Foley with Hames with the gun loaded. He went to Fusco instead. Fusco down to a knee, recovers. Hames ready, shoots, blocked in front. Great block again by Nick Young. You can see why he's racked up so many. Fourth in the ECAC in block shots. Last Broke season. off a shot and the rebound right there for Corpy and it just went by him. Hames pushed that forward. Big Green want to call there and won't get one. Now it's Hames into the offensive zone trying to settle a bouncing puck. Took a pretty good check from Prokop but absorbed it. Big Green on the power play for 106. Prokop trying to be the hitter, ended up being the hitty there. Much like Cal Mel a moment ago. Luke Hames put on 11 pounds over the summer. I think it's made a difference, Rob, this I year. I so. think so, too. Garnet Chargers trying to clear. Dorfman wouldn't allow it. He'll try again. Back to the points. Matt Fusco gets some separation, sets the play up. Chisholm. Work down low, Musa shot, rebounds free, and it's cleared by the Garnet Chargers, 32 seconds to go. On the Dartmouth power play as we head under one minute remaining in the period. Chisholm in onside with Dorfman. Dorfman behind the goal, Musa trying to set up in front. He's got Colby MacArthur there with him. Charpentier, work down low again. No one set up in front for the big green yet. 10 seconds left on the power play. Dorfman would love the shot. Chisholm instead fires and he rifles wide. Foley hustles to keep it in. Doors opening. Ferguson's coming out. Union's killed it off. The big greens to his zone time. Cross ice pass over Townley's stick. He got away from Ferguson. Townley behind the goal. Charpentier with 20 seconds left in the period. Townley again. The shot in front. Rebound there. Score! Joey Musa. Right place. Right time. 3-1 Dartmouth. And although the power play isn't going to connect, Musa was set up previously in that bumper position and stopped. Stephen Townley, a bit of a swing and a miss, but the big green sticking with it. And Cam McDonald watched right in front of the Union goal. He's going to just be able to flick it across the crease. And Musa on the doorstep knows right where to put it. Top shelf over Chauvet. And with 17 seconds left in the period, don't underestimate how big of a goal that is for Dartmouth. And Musa ends a six game drought. No points in six, his longest drought of the season and his first ever point against Union. Cooper Black makes a save against Villegas and spills the puck to keep the clock rolling. And you couldn't imagine a better first, a second period, excuse me, for the Big Green and really a Murphy's Law second period for the Garnet Chargers. Everything that could go wrong did go wrong for Union. They had the lead they wanted after 20. You know how much different of a squad they are when they play ahead and the big green needed just 33 seconds to evaporate that before just dominating that middle stanza as it looks like before we go to break I'm not sure if they're going to put more time back up. Well, we'll step aside to a break. We'll take a look at Musa's goal that's made it 3-1 in Hanover. Geico makes car insurance easy. Say when. As easy as loving Parmesan. 
Say one. Say one. Say when. When. <sighs> Fresh ground pepper? Oh, yes, please. With 24 7 emergency roadside service, it's easy to Geico. Oh, can we get a box? Of course. For the second year in a row, Chevy Equinox has been ranked by JD Power number one in new vehicle quality for compact SUVs. In other words, it's really good right from the start. Chevy Equinox. Do that again. Connected by OnStar. Get 1.9% financing on all 2024 Equinox models. Or look at the replay to find out if there's any time left on the clock. And they're going to put one second back on and drop the puck. A chance for an offensive zone faceoff win by the Garnet Chargers. And maybe a chance for a shot. And I thought Josh Howji might uh, pull the goaltender. And out comes Chauvets. Why not with one second? The Big Green can't possibly score. But you win a faceoff here, and Liam Robertson is out to do that. One of the best faceoff men in the country. You've got a chance. Luke Ames, the best in the circle with the big green. Will they be there to oppose him? Actually, scratching he's 51.7%. Not the best, but he's been good. And Ames just drops down to a knee to prevent any type of shot. Roberts is not happy with McDonald, and now we can say the Second period is finally over. And as you look at Tupker, Sharp and Tier continuing their conversation. These two teams, not traditional rivals, and of course they've not met much in the postseason, just twice. And they're working up some enmity for each other here in the first 40 minutes. Can you see the score? Now we'll take a break. Second period is over. The Big Green with a 3-1 lead over Union with three in the second in Hanover. Geico makes car insurance easy. As easy as getting stuffed up during allergy season. Before all the pollen, I used to stop and smell everything. The smell of fresh cut grass, my coffee in the morning, the hot dog smell from the hot dog guy. You did this to me. With an app that puts your policy in your pocket, it's easy to Geico. Curse you, ragweed pollen! <laughs> For the second year in a row, Chevy Equinox has been ranked by J.D. Power number one in new vehicle quality for compact SUVs. In other words, it's really good right from the start. Chevy Equinox. Do that again. Connected by OnStar. Get 1.9% financing on all 2024 Equinox models. Or current Chevy owners, get 2,500 total cash allowance on this Equinox. See your Central New York Chevy dealers. The future is threatened by enemies often unpredictable. When there are battles to win for America's future, there is one constant. Marines. Your favorite thing delivered right to your door means that you never have to stop doing your other favorite thing. Nailed it. Order McDelivery in the app. So I can take all these trips because Priceline has all these amazing deals. Look. The deals are hatching. And that's when I said, deal. <laughs> and on your right is our infinity deal pool. Oh, delicious. Breathe in. You are the deals. I am the deals. The deals are me. Wait, you can hear me? Go to your happy price, Priceline. Like Dr. Pepper, strawberries, and cream. It's a pepper thing. Lowe's knows new projects come with questions. So we have answers. Like how to keep your yard looking lush. Which paint color matches your bold style. And with the My Lowe's Rewards credit card, you can save 5% every day. You got this, and we got you. Target Circle Week is here with thousands of deals. Join Target Circle for free and get automatic savings on the things that make you, you.
Target Circle Week, April 7th to the 13th. It's a big deal. I'm Trevor Michelson. I'm the head coach of the men's lightweight rowing team here at Dartmouth. Kenley Walsh, head coach of Equestrian. We're here at the Hanover Inn for a coach's conversation. Yeah. Okay, um, what's the most ridiculous fact you know? That's a hard one. Yeah. There's like 27 bones in the foot or something Is like that. Is that true? I don't know. There's a lot of bones in the foot, <laughs> I think. Okay. Yeah, that's a bad. That's a I, bad. I believe answer. you. Yeah, that's a bad. I don't answer. know. I don't know. Let me go. Can I give a couple shots? Yeah. Yeah. Most ridiculous thing I know. Um, it's so hard. There was a a woman in India who ate her hair. She was like that was her nervous tick, and it she her hair your hair doesn't get digested, and so her stomach filled with hair a giant hairball, and she had to go to the hospital and they had to cut it out. So be careful if you chew your hair. I, I'm not going to do that. That's my most ridiculous. <laughs> I'm going to go with that one. That's the one I'm settling on. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, this is good for you. If you could ask a horse any question, what would it be? Oh, my gosh. I think about this on a daily basis. I bet. Yeah, I bet. Um, I don't know if I have a like one perfect answer. Um, I think uh, just kind of like, how happy are you doing this job? <laughs> it's That's kind of a, a little one. too serious. No, for me. no, yeah. Um, yeah. Or we we've got one horse up at the farm, and he um, he always gets sick, and so I'd probably ask him like, what do we need to do to keep you healthy? Why are you always getting sick? Why are you always man? getting sick? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, I'd say, is it true you'll just run till you fall? You know, they always say horses will just race till they die. Yeah. Right? Is, do, you know, do you know if that's I, true? I mean, I've heard that. Yeah. Yeah. Have you tried it? No. Uh, <laughs> Make your debit card green. Big green. Select from 16 options by visiting any Ledyard Bank location or calling 888-746-4562. Ledyard's online and mobile banking includes free personal mobile check deposit, so you can show all your Dartmouth pride on your home turf. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Dartmouth. This is a school with a sense of place, a sense of purpose. A member of the Ivy League, Dartmouth is a liberal arts college embedded in a research university where undergraduates have direct access to our world-class faculties in arts and sciences, business, medicine, and engineering. With more than $100 million in need-based scholarships available, we'll help you achieve your goals. Come visit. We'd love to meet you. Hi, I'm Pierre LeBlanc, president of Engelberth Construction. For over 40 years, we've been recognized as one of the largest and most dynamic commercial construction companies in northern New England. As a premier builder and partner of Dartmouth Athletics, we have built many facilities on campus, 
and at Engelberth Construction, we truly believe in building relationships for life. Go Big Green. Kennedy and Tyler Orego back here with you with the Thompson Arena in Hanover, New Hampshire. There's a very different vibe after two periods than it was after the first. The Big Green Trail 1-0 after one. You see the score. Three second period goals have Dartmouth up 3-1 here after two. And it didn't take very long for the Big Green to give these fans here at Thompson something to cheer about in that second period of play. Started 33 seconds in and just really continued on from there. Just a build up really of what that first period was about you could feel the big green coming close at times they get burned on one chance up the ice and it gave union a one goal cushion a cushion that they're very comfortable with holding as a team this year but for dartmouth you just have to love the resolve they showed out of the locker room in that second period yeah when you come out and score a goal 27 seconds into the period i mean obviously you come out firing and that's something again we were talking off the air between the first and second period saying this is not the same Dartmouth team we saw last year that had a real hard time just getting back into a game when they conceded the first goal or conceded any goal. This year they've been different. Their response has been great, and it was here tonight. And you look at the stats overall, the Big Green out shooting the Garnet Chargers 14-9 in that second period of a 20-17 advantage overall. And surprisingly to me, winning the faceoff battle by a 2-1 margin so far tonight. And you look at the individual breakdown to those faceoffs. Luke Hames has won 11 of his 13 draws. I know we've said he's had a quiet night in some instances. He's trying to set up teammates for chances. You have to imagine that union game plan for him, obviously, with how well he's played all season long. 84% though on the draw is impressive. And then Stephen Townley and Sean Chisholm also winning over 60% of their draws here tonight. That's huge. Very important for the Big Green. We'll take a look at the highlights of that second period as we mentioned. Things started very early on in period number two. It only took Dartmouth uh, just a little bit to get scoring, 33 seconds in. And it starts with Chisholm who's going to work this puck indirect back up to Eric Sharpentier. And I know Braden Dorfman was calling for it, but I'm convinced that this is Sharpentier's goal. Used Murr out high as his screen. You get a great view there from behind Chauvet. He never picked that puck up as it beat him cleanly along the ice. And then Matt Fusco, a jailbreak here, and Cam McDonald right back across the crease. Thing of beauty there on the 2 on oh. You keep it simple and you keep it safe. And Fusco buries it for his second of the year. The D was active in this period. Sharpentier again finding Stephen Townley in a bit of a broken play. Something messy. It turns beautiful for the big green. Joey Musa right where he always is around the goal. And look at Cam McDonald here fighting through two Union defenders to get that puck across. And then Musa right on the doorstep able to get elevation in tight. Never an easy thing to do. And he just lifted it right into the roof of the goal. Yeah, the Garner Chargers defense just lost Musa completely, and he was easily able to score that goal. And McDonald, who's got two assists tonight, really found him. And McDonald again now in last uh, four games, three goals, three assists now, four assists, seven points overall. So 3-1 is our score after two periods of play. ECAC's awards this past week, and the Big Green certainly cleaned up. Luke Ames, one of three unanimous uh, awards for the Big Green this season. Cooper Black, 27 of 29 starts this year. He was a second team all name. And then CJ Foley, the third team, and then a unanimous selection to the rookie, uh, to the ECAC all rookie team. Well deserved for all three of those players who have played key roles from the back end and goal out this year into what's been just a turnaround for the Big Green in their 11 win season. Turnaround here tonight as well. Dartmouth Trail 1-0 after 20. They lead 3-1 after 40. We'll see if the Big Green can close it out or if the Garnet Chargers have a comeback in them in the next 20 minutes here in Hanover coming up next.
3-1 Dartmouth after two. You're watching the... Geico makes car insurance easy. As easy as reinventing yourself after a haircut. Hello, hello, hello. Is that my third grade teacher? Hey, Miss J. I've changed. I have bangs now. Oh, I just got a haircut too. Neat. Ooh, what you got? With 24-7 claim support, it's easy to Geico. Are you kidding me? Who's next? For the second year in a row, Chevy Equinox has been ranked by J.D. Power number one in new vehicle quality for compact SUVs. In other words, it's really good right from the start. Chevy Equinox. Do that again. Connected by OnStar. Get 1.9% financing on all 2024 Equinox models. Or current Chevy owners, get 2,500 total cash allowance on this Equinox. See your Central New York Chevy dealers. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Introducing Applebee's new whole lot of bacon burger. Just $9.99 for a limited time. Applebee's, now that's eating good in the neighborhood. The future is threatened by enemies often unimaginable. When there are battles to win for America's future, there is one constant, Marines. So I can take all these trips because Priceline has all these amazing deals. Look, the deals are hatching. And that's when I said, deal. <laughs> <laughs> and on your right is our infinity deal pool. Oh, dear. Take a look at the scores around the ECC playoffs. Quinnipiac with a 3-1 lead uh, and on Serbone. Jacob Quinlan scoring second period goal, sandwiching a Nick Ardenau's goal for RPI. Cornell leads Harvard. 4-1. Nick DeSantis made it 4-0 in the power play for the Big Red. Joe Miller pulled one back for the Crimson. And St. Lawrence, a 2-0 lead over Colgate in Hamilton, New York tonight. Two goals in 27 seconds. Jan LeShock and Josh Boyer scoring for the Saints to have them up 2-0 all those games after two periods. In fact, all those are in the third period. They've all started as we get set to drop the puck here on period number three. Next goal on this one will be huge. Big Green wouldn't mind if there's not a next goal in the next 20 minutes. No, if you're Dartmouth, you've set yourself up through 40 minutes to where now you want to be in this third period. This game started out benefiting Union, and you've done the work now to try and set yourself up to close things out. And we've seen this big green team learn all season long how to get better and better at closing out games like this. Well, Reed Cashman said, winning is a skill. you got to learn it like anything else. And the big green have learned to do that. And they close out a very character-heavy Union Garnet Chargers team who will not go away quietly nor easily. Prokop fires into the offensive zone. Tupker just managed to stay onside. Joey Musa scored the third goal for the Big Green. Didn't realize that he had a tangle with Tyler Watkins just off the bench. Hanley back behind the goal to Nick Young. He's got the Garnet Chargers goal. 13-28 of the first period. CJ Foley wanted that at the point. Took a funny carom and Watkins up ice two on two with Smedsrud. Smedsrud with it here. Trying to fire that in front. Here's Ferguson. Coming in from his defensive position, trying to throw that in front, and almost succeeded. There he is again, Ferguson. Dancing in the offensive zone in the back end toward the front of the goal, tipped just wide by Watkins. Robertson puts it in front, and a shot. Where's the puck? Smedsrud has it. Robertson shoots. That was blocked in front. Ouch. Cooper Flinton, another one. Cooper Flinton with 23 points coming into this game. But really most impressive to me is the 31 blocks he had. He's got a few more tonight. That most recent one really stung him off the right off the boot those are extra painful there are certain areas where you don't mind catching a puck off of but i feel like the side of the skate especially sophomore and six round tampa bay lightning draft pick has really become a great player two ends of the ice he's the kind of player who makes himself noticeable in a variety of ways even when the puck isn't going in which doesn't happen very often he knows how to put pucks on net he knows how to use his body too in a variety of ways a big kid at 6'2, 205. Messina and Kraus rattling the glass. This is Messina behind the goal. Arnett Chargers looking up that right wing side. Heemanen into the offensive zone, gets the return pass. Through that in front, there was Kraus to swat it to the back wall. 
Townley had some trouble with it, and Kraus again alertly just plays it out of danger. Emanen battling Townley. Townley, by sheer will, puts that out to the blue line. Vegas right back in. Here's a chance and a save made off the shot from Josh Nixon by Black. And Nixon sent in after Vegas got blown up there by Sharpentier, taking a hit to make a play there at the big green line. Kraus with a clear. That was a very productive shift for the sophomore. Here's Nate Morgan. Barreling into the offensive zone. Rubbed out by Kelly. Morgan still persisting behind the net. Wario there well, but it's cleaned up by Joseph Messina. Now back up ice. MacArthur, who thought he scored earlier, feeds into the offensive zone to Corpy. Knocked away from him. MacArthur dispossessing Fusco. Garnet charges back in possession again. Prokop ahead to MacArthur. The sophomore into the offensive zone. Rattles that around toward Jeanette, who's checked by the Big Green's Josh Waters. Waters with a puck on his stick. Crosses the center red line, chips into the offensive zone. Prokop back there as the Big Green making a change. Nick Young. Now the Garnet Chargers. Corpy to Tupker. Tupker trying to work on Matt Fusco. Great poke check by the first year. And that's off. It's Moorings. Face off with three minutes and two seconds gone in the third period. You see the good stick there from Matt Fusco. Ben Tupker has been around the block, a veteran forward. Where's the C for a reason? Union has a couple players like that up front, Rob. Big and posing. They have a lot of beef, both ends of this roster. Brandon Burr, 6'2", 205, is another one up there. I like Smedsrud too, 6'2", 195, but he, he always seems bigger to be than that 195. He plays bigger, that's for sure. Ben Tupker's brother, Zach Tupker, is going to play off game tonight as well, playing for the Quinnipiac Bobcats. Hanley trying to win the draw back. He succeeds. Cal Mel. Mel off the backboards. Tupker arriving the same time as Fusco. Tupker knocked into Chisholm. Ooh, great touch to knock that down. And here comes Chisholm. Braden Dorfman in. Back toward Chisholm, and Ferguson rubbed it out. Great play by Ferguson there, dropping to a knee. Chisholm checked by Ferguson again. Great work by Ferguson, the junior defenseman. As the two Ontario natives collide. Musa had the puck, Dorfman with it now. Dorfman holds, waits, shoots, and a save by Chauvet. He'll hold on to that. Cal Chauvet, the sophomore now with 19 saves on the night. That was number 20. I mentioned about him earlier in the second period, but this season, 18 times he's allowed three or more goals, Rob. 4-13-1 compared to 11-1-2 when allowing two or fewer. And, of course, they picked up the shutout win against Brown. This Union team can score, and we've seen them be dangerous at times tonight. But defensively, there have been opportunities for the Big Green, and they have certainly taken advantage. Spencer off the block, tried to spring Watkins. Kelly back in the defensive zone, passing to Messina. Hames forcing the play. Kelly, gonna look up ice, connects with Smedsrud, here he comes. Smedsrud, a shot, good wrister and a save made by Black. He got that through John Fusco's legs and that's why Black had trouble squeezing it. He picked it up just in the nick of time. Cam McDonald, a bump from Robertson as he'll dump it into the big green change. McDonald four checking, Kelly on the back wall, spun around by Townley, there's Kraus. Townley trying to claim the puck. Three guys in below the goal line right now. Kraus with it back to the points. McRae shot, deflects, knocked down in front. There's Townley. Townley poked away from him by Messina. Been impressed by the rookie Messina from Woodbridge, Ontario. CJ Foley, everyone's been impressed with this rookie. Foley left that for Sorkin, couldn't pull the trigger. Kraus now taking the point place. He'll shoot. That was off Townley in front. Gloved down by Tyler Watkins, and he'll fire it down the ice and leave the pressure for the Garnet Chargers. Wario quickly to Sorkin. Big green into the offensive zone. Sorkin was buried by Robertson, who finished his check. Charpentier back behind the goal. Prokop there. Here's Lokiberg to pressure him. Pressure him into a turnover. Morgan, though, couldn't pull the trigger. Brought back up ice by Viegas. Oh. He is drilled by Charpentier, who wants a call. Not going to get one. Play on. Viegas, though, right back in it for a shot deflected wide. Here's Prokop. Prokop back behind the goal. Put out in front for a shot. Black the save as he stifles Nick Young with a good slapper. And Young rolls his eyes heavenward as it stays a 3-1 game. 
Pretty good setup there, and it starts with John Prokop working a puck from high to low. Young really stepping in as we get a look at the four-checking effort. Real good work by Lokiberg, and then oh, right there, Eric Charpentier times it just right as the Vegas almost admired his pass a little too long there, and that's twice now in this third period. That Charpentier's gotten the better of Caden Vivegas, who I feel like has been one of the more noticeable forwards for Union here tonight, Rob. He usually is when he's out there. Ames wins the faceoff back from Jacob Jeanette. It's a strong save by Black, though. Can't discount that. Cooper hasn't had the most consistent games in terms of the shot volume. Union's not been able to string together too many shifts. But he's been making some quality saves here all throughout the game when called upon. And that could change for the Garnet Chargers at any second, though. Maybe here with Prokop, their all-star defenseman. Great play by Foley to kick that away from Colby MacArthur. And for Union, it's got to pop here eventually. Six minutes into this third period, trailing by two. They haven't been able to set a push just yet. Chisholm four checking. Here's Prokop behind the goal. He never seems to leave the ice, does he? Back to the points. Back behind the goal, Joey Musa chasing. He'll be the first one there for Dartmouth. Dorfman behind the net. Got attention from Prokop. Now at the point, a shot blocked. Great block by Carter Corpy, and McRae has to be alert as Corpy pulls him down into the offensive zone. MacArthur, he's drilled. Good recovery by the big green as Dorfman's checked by Ferguson. Hanley can't break in over the blue line. And Dartmouth back in control. Musa touches that into the offensive zone. Reed Cashman's hollering for a change, and the big green head over. Sorkin finishes check. But here come the Garnet Chargers again. Tupker into Nate Hanley. Hanley, the assist man in this team with 22, trying for another, and left that in front. It was blocked by Dartmouth's defense once again. Nathan Kelly. Mel at center ice. Checked by Sork in front of the Dartmouth bench. Here's Hanley. Nice pass to Kelly, joining the rush. Fusco knocked that away. That was three out there. John Fusco has got it now. And the big green work it out of the zone. Alex Kraus buries that behind the Union goals. Dartmouth makes a quick change, and the Garnet Chargers trying to turn that into offense quickly. Cooper Black will cover it up as he knew that Villa Emanen is right there, so he'll hold on to the puck and the faceoff. With seven minutes and 19 seconds gone in period number three, still 3-1. And Alex Kraus only has two points on the season. Hasn't been a regular in this lineup as a sophomore, but consecutive shifts here in this third period where defensively you see him making plays. He helped John Fusco out there to break up a play and then getting out through center ice. You could hear Coach Cashman from the bench get it in deep. And what does he do? Make sure he gets the red line, get the puck in, and head off for a change. That's stuff right there from a young player that you really like to see, especially in the playoffs. There's two players in this team that really kind of embodies what Reed Cashman wants. It's Kraus and Waters. That shot deflected off the crossbar. Nixon in front. It might have hit him in the shoulder, but it stayed out. Big collision with Hames and Kelly. That fooled everyone, including Black, who waved at it. And Cooper's tapping one of the posts right there. So, Rob, it certainly could have grazed off of the crossbar. That'll be twice now. The Garnet Chargers have hit the crossbar. If that's the case, as Robertson clanged one off the elbow back in the first period. Big green break up a rush at the blue line. I'll finish my point about... Hames and Josh Waters in a moment as Vuario's in the offensive zone. By himself for now, Lokiberg has joined him. Here's Trim Lokiberg. Vuario back behind the goal. Now it's Josh Waters. Waters trying to connect with Vuario. Was knocked away by Kelly, and Kelly lifts it out of the zone. Messina knocks that down the ice with a high stick. Fusco might as well just leave it. Let Smedzrud touch it. That'll be a face-off coming. I was mentioning... Both Kraus and Waters, two guys that I think have just embodied what Reed Cashman wants, which is just overall commitment to do whatever the team needs. In Waters' case, he's played defense and forward. In Kraus's place, he's become a very good two-way player. See if the overhead gives us a better idea of where this shot might have hit. Oh, yeah. Right off the middle of the crossbar. We didn't hear it really ting. You certainly heard the post back in the second period when Watkins rang it. Garnet Chargers is not getting the breaks here in the second and third period. Goal called back, the questionable embellishment call on Prokop in a couple of posts. The old country song goes, if it weren't for bad luck, they'd have no luck at all. <laughs> and that's the way it's been for Union in the second and third. They're gonna have a 3-3 game if those crossbar shots have been a little bit lower. What's the other saying, Rob? You make your own luck? You do. 
Union might be trying to do that now with a three on two. Watkins has Smedsrud open, but he was chased into the corner by Matt Fusco and couldn't make the pass. Now the big green, still with possession of the defensive zone, trying to work their way out. Matt Fusco couldn't do so. Prokop holds. That's trapped in Charpentier's equipment. Smedsrud there trying to dig it through. Helping out a little bit with a stick, which I don't think Charpentier appreciated, but what else is Chaz going to do? Face off coming in the Union offensive zone. It didn't look like the puck was stuck either in Charpentier's gear. He was kind of <laughs> clasping it almost like he was carrying groceries into the house. <laughs> the game within the game, though, here in the postseason especially. And you know Smedsrud doesn't mind going in for an extra poker prod either. No, he doesn't. Five-game goal streak coming into this game for Chaz Smedsrud. 14 goals on the season. And you can't yeah. underestimate Union here with 11-14 to go. I'm no way. waiting for them to make this push. And Dartmouth's done a really good job diffusing things for the most part. Combination of some good sticks and good bodies. Crow slapped that away from Jeanette. Sorkin had the pass up over his stick. Now it's Cal Mel's turn. Alan Ferguson. I'm impressed by Ferguson tonight. It's the junior. Now Mel ahead. Back to Ferguson again as Sorkin. Was in the offensive zone. Now it's Townley forcing Ferguson back. Another thing about the Big Green's improvement this year, from two factors, you already mentioned the power play, the forecheck has been another huge factor for Dartmouth. But now out comes Cal Mel, trying to connect with Ferguson right up the guts. He and Hames go to the backboards. Centering pass, oh, it rolled just away from Jeanette. I don't think he was expecting the puck to find him. McDonald bounces off Kelly. There's MacArthur on the back wall. Flinton has him in his sights. But a giveaway to Liam Robertson back from the Garnet Chargers. Corpy slowed down by Tucker McCray. McCray leaping for it. He and Matt Fusco out there defensively. Smedsrud back to the point. Messina, his shot deflects into the back wall. Another Smed block for Flinton. Smedsrud again. There's Messina. Now it's Kelly. Messina's got the gun loaded. Here it comes, and Flinton makes another block. Cooper helps out Cooper. Flinton makes sure Black doesn't need to touch it. Now Hames, halfway through the third period, still 3-1 Dartmouth. Union, though, pushing the issue. Kelly couldn't get by Cam McDonald. Big Green sacrificing the body in the defensive zone, and McDonald will get a clear here. And Rob, they only credited Flinton with one block after the second period. I think he's picked up at least four or five here in the third. He has been everywhere in the defensive zone for the Big Green as Dorfman carries it to the blue line and not quite out. They do escape the zone, though, Dorfman. To McDonald, who backhands it ahead, just off the stick of Brendan Burr. Big Green try to steal it. They do. Joey Musa back to the point. Sharpened tier to John Fusco. Fusco fakes the shot, taken down by Tupker. Shoots this time, and a penalty coming up for the Big Green here in the third period with a 3-1 lead. It'll be Ben Tupker who'll head off. A hooking call against the Garnet Chargers captain, and that sends us to a break. Big opportunity for the Big Green as we'll take a look at that penalty once again. That's put Dartmouth on their fifth power play of the night. And a great chance for Dartmouth. Patience and the penalty. Make your debit card green. Big Green. Select from 16 options by visiting any Ledyard Bank location or call 888-746-4562. Ledyard's online and mobile banking includes free personal mobile check deposit so you can show all your Dartmouth pride on your home turf. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. As a trusted choice agency, the Richards Group has been committed to local communities for decades. We take the time to get to know our clients, their needs, and budget. We're independent, so we work for you, not an insurance company. We use our expertise to design home, auto, and business coverage solutions at a competitive price. In addition, our team provides consulting for employee benefits, human resources, retirement plans, and wealth management. The Richards Group, protecting what you value most. Every game storyline has some twists and turns, and Josh Howsey hoping that his team Tied for second in the NCAA in shorthanded goals. And have a surprise for the Big Green in their upcoming power play and make this a one goal game. Their penalty kill has been a real bright spot in game one. Four for four. 
They've limited the big green to just four shots across those four power plays. So here past the halfway mark of the third, if they ever had a penalty killing effort left in them, they need it now and might even need a little more, like you said, Rob, because trailing here by two, you need to start taking some chances here and Carter Corpy out to take the draw. We know what he can do in shorthanded situations. Three on the season. Here's Watkins trying to force a turnover. Fusco played that well with Foley. A look at Watkins chasing him all the way to the back wall, killing some time. And no surprise that Prokop is out there as well. And this is a team that's formidable shorthanded. Watkins on the back wall. There's Hames to steal. Thrown in front to John Fusco, who shoots. Knocked down in front. And the puck trapped in McDonald gets the whistle. 23 seconds into the Dartmouth power play. And you mentioned how good this Garnet Chargers penalty kill has been. Outside of the first power play tonight, I don't remember Dartmouth doing an awful lot as far as threatening Chauvet and goal. They had about two shots in their first power play back in the opening period of play. And really after that, Union just does such a good job on puck retrieval and puck clearance. It just does not take long for them to launch it all the way down the ice. And it feels like for most of these power plays, the Big Green have spent a lot of time chasing backwards rather than advancing forward. Faceoff's outside the zone because McDonald had it caught in his equipment, but he's back on the puck here. McDonald rattles that around to C.J. Foley, open at the left point, but not for long. As in comes Jeanette to knock him right over. Hames, Foley again, none the worse for wear. Now Luke Hames, the leading scorer in the big green. Down low, a shot trying to stuff that home McDonald, and it's blasted down the ice by Jeanette. Fighting through three sticks there, and Jeanette showing why this Union penalty kill is as good as they are because pucks just leave their zone so fast. Great penalty killing shift for the rookie from Duluth, Jacob Jeanette. Into the offensive zone, Joey Musa. His goal at the death of the second period gave the Big Green a 3-1 lead. Dorfman, Matt Fusco shoots and hit Musa. Here's Fusco again. He'll hold the puck. Chisholm down to Sorkin. Sticks gone flying and that's going to be Musa who'll go as he slashed the stick out of John Prokop's hand up into the I would say rafters. We don't have rafters here. The triangles, I guess, would be a better word at the Thompson Arena. Interference, the call, and the Big Greens power play ends early. 45 seconds of four-on-four four time. Second time that's happened here in this game. The Big Greens shooting one of their own power plays down. And again, a, another easy one right out in front of the net. Yeah. And Prokop, again, drawing a call. We saw Sorkin get penalized trying to get inside position on the big defenseman. And... He does his thing out in front of Chauvet. Musa sends his stick up into the air, and that's enough for a penalty. Huge two minutes coming up here with Joey Musa in the box. 7.44 to go in a 3-1 game. Union needs a goal, and they need one quickly. Here's Fusco over his own blue line. Cross ice to Sorkin. Townley stayed on side. There's Townley with it as Sorkin was checked. Foley makes a move to avoid Eminen. Sorkin off the half wall. Regains possession for the big green. Townley in the corner with Cal Mel. Townley escapes, lost the puck. Mel knocked it away. Almost gave that to Lokiberg, who's just on the ice. A long reach of the big Norwegian junior. Now Eminen back, back up the ice. Tied up by Matt Fusco. Ferguson couldn't enter the zone. In three seconds, Ben Tupker's coming out of the box. Here he comes. It's a minute and 15 seconds of power play time for Union, who need a goal here. A big 70-second stretch coming up. John Prokop deferring to MacArthur. Garnet charges into the offensive zone. They meet Charpentier behind the goal. McRae, he's checked. Good work by Union to get that puck into the corner. Smedsrud almost had possession. He was just beaten to it by Lokiberg, who dumps it down the ice. Where did Trim come from? I didn't even see him. You see where he makes his money right there, and it's on the penalty kill. Such a strong defensive presence. A great equalizer out there on the kill using his size and physicality to win pucks. Prokop playing pass with Billy Ebenen. Prokop with it again. MacArthur fires. He had Robertson in front and missed wide. 25 seconds left in the power play. MacArthur to Prokop again. They continue to play pass. Prokop one timer knocked down by Townley. Robertson kept it in the zone. Here's Prokop again. Holding, spinning. Robertson calling for it, centering pass, and it's fanned on partially by Burr. Didn't put it on target with seven seconds left in the Musa Minor, who's already standing. Joey can't wait to come out, and he'll get to do so now. Now, Big Green have killed it off, still 3-1 with 5.45 to go. 
in game one of the best of three series as Musa forces a turnover. Trying to feed Hames in front. That was tied up in Messina's skates. Josh Nixon cross ice to Viegas. Nifty pass feathered into Eminen. Eminen centers. Knocked down in front. There's Fusco. Big Green can break it out now. Could have numbers. Musa into the offensive zone. Drop for Fusco again. John Fusco shoots it off the side of the goal. Caden Viegas. Musa forced a turnover. Eminen one hands that ahead. Hames to Flinton. He'll pitch fork it into the offensive zone with 5.05 to go. Kelly behind the goal line. Great pass to send the Garnet Chargers off and running. Nate Hanley a shot. It's wide of the mark. Big green at the blue line. Matt Fusco works it out. Keeps possession. Fires into the offensive zone. Every time the big green dump it in, it kills off some time. That red line gain becomes more and more important as this third period rolls along, and Dartmouth certainly knows it. Hanley's got Burr with him. Hanley drew a crowd there. He's drilled by Charpentier. Now it's McDonald up ice by himself for now. Split the defense. He avoided the check from Mel, but left the puck behind. Now Tupker. That forced Hanley to slow down, and Tupker lost the puck anyway. That's deflected into the offensive zone. Last touch by a Garnet Charger, so no icing here. Burr checked by Vuario. Loki Berg to the point. John Fusco to Foley. Foley shoots. That's off Young's leg. Vuario behind the goal. Big Green looking for a put-away marker here. Fusco down low, tipped just wide. That was Nate Morgan, the former Union commit. He would love to score this playoff game to seal the deal. And this line would love to score with how hard they've worked here tonight. Wario, Lokiberg, and Morgan just wreaking havoc every time on the forecheck, and it's led to some opportunities. They just haven't been able to cash in. Townley, Kraus, and Sorkin out there now. Colin Ferguson into the offensive zone. Matt Fusco gloved it down. Cleared ahead to Ryan Sorkin, the Chicago native. Knew the check was coming from Messina. Dumped it in deep. There's Townley behind the goal. Townley just outmuscled the Union player back there. Colin Ferguson. And he's killing precious seconds along with Kraus as that puck's welded to the backboards. It's still there. And finally, the referee no choice but to blow the whistle after Kraus takes 10 seconds off the clock. And this is the kind of work right here that wins you playoff games and wins you playoff series. The nitty gritty, in between the lines type stuff. And again, in the playoffs, it's never just one player or one line. And Coach Cashman, not the type of coach to shorten up his bench in any kind of scenario. All four lines continue to roll and they all continue to execute at what they need to do. And for the bottom six, it's exactly what you've seen in that last sequence or two. Just constant checking. Pucks in deep. The cliches of hockey, but they work them to perfection. Eminem's a good faceoff man. He wins 56.1%. He wins another, but the Garnet Chargers have iced the puck. As fast as he is, Caden Viegas is not beating Foley when Foley has about a five-yard head start. We mentioned Murphy's Law in the second period, just when things go wrong, they're just bent, bound to go wrong. And for the Garnet Chargers, Billy Eminem, 56% on faceoffs coming into tonight. He's won under 30% here tonight, and he finally wins one. It leads to an icing. Wins another one as well. Prokop pressed by Cooper Flinton. There's Hames in. Five players trying to mine it off the wall, and it finally does come free to Nick Young. But Young can't go anywhere with it. He'll try again. Nice airmailed pass to Josh Nixon. They're pulling the goalie. Extra skater coming out with 2.48 to go. Vegas gloved it down. Took the shot, and... I don't know if it was on target or wide or not if Black had to make the save. There's a shot pinballing around from Eamon Viegas. Almost a chance. Another block from Flinton. Prokop out there manning the point. He's got the puck straight away now. He shoots. That's McDonald with a block. Big Green sacrificing the body. McDonald blocked it. Big Green can't clear, however. Nets empty at the other end. Uh oh. A penalty coming up now to the Big Green. That'll give a two man advantage. As that shot, touched up by Flinton with 2.10 to go. The net will be empty, and the Big Green will be short a player. 130 ticks of the clock left as the Big Green try to see this one out with a 2-1 lead. Yeah, and McRae with a check to the numbers there along the near side corner. Didn't finish it off aggressively, but that shoving motion there from behind. It's a textbook cross check, and now things will get 
Really interesting here with 2.10 to go. Special teams have been on point in terms of the penalty kill for both of these teams. And we've seen Union showcase their stuff on the PK. Now Dartmouth ahead by two. Going to need their biggest effort here late to try and close it out. We'll take a look and see if this is a five, perhaps. Josh Hauji with nothing to lose here. This will be very interesting if it does turn into a five, especially if the Union can score quickly. Let's watch this again. I mean, certainly is a check from behind. MacArthur's got his back facing the play. And you see that motion of the cross check from McCray. It certainly fits the definition of a minor. There's no doubt it was a minor. No question at all the call against McCray is completely justified. But now we'll find out as Tom Steinel is looking over the monitor. Jason Williams right behind him. We'll find out if it's going to be two or five for Tucker McCray. 3-1 our score. All three Dartmouth goals in the second period. Braden Dorfman 33 seconds into the period from Eric Charpentier and Sean Chisholm. Matt Fusco finished off a 2-1-0 with Cam McDonald for his second goal of the season at 639. And Joey Musa with 17 seconds remaining in the second period. His sixth of the season. Cam McDonald getting an assist on that goal as well. And Stephen Townley also added an assist. That's been it. A one union goal. Nick Youngs back at 13-28 from Caden Villegas. That was back in period number one. That's it so far for the Garnet Chargers, but they have a big opportunity coming up here regardless of whether Tucker McRae's penalty stays a two or goes to a five. And obviously the major penalty, if it is called, would be a huge swing to end regulation. But I think this will stand as just a minor. We'll see. Either way, it's going to be a massive power play for the Garnet Chargers who are going to need to score regardless Try and pull it back to within a goal. Here come the referees. It's a two. So it has not been the night that the Garnet Chargers have gotten the benefit of the calls replay wise. They lost a goal on an offside. Colby MacArthur thought he had tied the game 2 2 at the 12 03 mark of the second period. It was nullified on an offside, but now a six on four situation. 2 10 to go. And these are scenarios you practice. You don't practice them maybe very often, but you prepare for anything and everything. And you know Union's going to load things up with pro cop quarterbacking things. Emanen set to take the draw, and then they've got Robertson and Nixon, speedy players who know where to go around the goal. Big win by Emanen back to pro cop. Smedsrud's next to win the other points. They'll work near side to Nixon. Smedsrud and pro cop continue to play pass. Smedsrud shot coming, saved by Cooper Black, and boy. He was over before the puck even reached Chaz Smedsrud. And that's when you know that Black is on his game. When the puck just simply comes to him, he's so big in the net that the movement is really subtle at times for someone who is six foot eight. And that time he's just got quiet feet getting from right to left and already reading that shot. He's just got to keep himself in position and it hits him square. Beaten just once and a great play from Nick Young and a better pass by Caden Villegas to set him up. Top five in goals against, save percentage and saves. Cooper Black this season in the ECAC. Prokop holding now, 150 remaining. Differential is 10 seconds between Musa's penalty and the game clock. Nixon to Prokop again. Smedsrud holding. Prokop with two men setting the screen in front. Here's the shot, it's deflected out of play as Brendan Burr opened fire and Sorkin got a stick on that. We've seen several times in this third period an all-out effort from the Big Green when it's come to blocking shots. As a team, they only had five blocks coming into this period, and I'd wager that they've surpassed that. I think Cooper Black, or <laughs> rather Cooper Flinton alone has five blocks, but we've seen Cam McDonald, Ryan Sorkin, everyone really getting in the way in white and green. Lokiberg won the faceoff back. It's a big win for Trim Lokiberg, and that's not his strength. 41.4% is the empty net attempt. Awfully close. But look at McDonald's. Still battling with Smed's root. Just killing seconds. Finally knocked off the puck. And here come the Garnet Chargers with 118 remaining. Burr into the offensive zone. Drop that off to Robertson. Here's Prokop. Robertson holding, shooting just over the crossbar. Smed's root lost sight of it. The big green can clear. This one bouncing down the ice, but it will roll wide. We're about to go under one minute, and Union needs a pair of goals. 
Prokop, back up ice. Into the offensive zone, the Garnet Chargers. Desperation time for the boys in the dark uniforms. Nixon to Robertson. Worked in front to Ferguson. Cross ice pass, a shot. That was set up for Nixon and he missed. And out of the zone goes the puck and the Garnet Chargers. And they're back in offside. 37 seconds left to go. The big green very close to seeing out game one. And that was the setup right there. Nixon in his wheelhouse opened up for it and he had Black a little late to the spot moving to his right. Just completely wired the shot wide. He missed the entire goal by 10, 15 feet, if that. Face off at center ice. Hanley wins it back. Net still empty. 34 seconds remaining. Ferguson at the blue line. Backhands it into the corner. Great play by Fusco. There's Charpentier. And of course, the big green can ice it with impunity as McRae's in the box. And that clear is probably done enough to seal game one. There's just 18 seconds to go. And this will be an icing. And that will surely do it. The Garnet Chargers will have to put Chauvet back in goal with just 13.4 seconds left. Down a pair. And I think the crowd here at Thompson agrees with you, Rob. 13 seconds to go. Goaltender forced back into the net. And the Dartmouth College Big Green are going to open up the postseason with a big time win. One that really feels a long time coming for this program, Rob. I know you've been around it a little bit longer than I have, but there have been some lean years leading up to this moment, and what Coach Cashman has done here in his fourth year, a team that won five games last season, and now they're going to have a postseason win under their belt. Still work to do for the Big Green, of course, but they check the first box. They win the first game, and that'll do it. Joey Musa will get the shot away, and for the first time all year, the Union Garnet Chargers lose a game after leading after one period. The Big Green for the second time in a row, which is the second time this year, win a game when conceding the first goal. Things have turned around for Dartmouth. They take game one, 3-1, and they get the one nothing series lead here in the quarterfinals. And you mentioned the turnaround, Rob. We saw it here in this game firsthand with how that first period played out for Union, getting exactly what they wanted. The save from Chauvet on the penalty shot to keep the crowd out of it, to keep the big green off the board. They lead it 1-0 after the, that first period, and then really a big green avalanche after that for the final 40 in this one. Look at Cooper Black, who let just the one goal in, and it was a good one from Nick Juan early on. So the big green will salute the crowd. They have a 1-0 series lead. We can check to see who else has got a 1-0 series lead around ECAC hockey. Quinnipiac with a win, 5-1 tonight. Harvard. A comeback tonight, they got to 4-3. They scored two goals in the third period to make it interesting. Couldn't get that fourth one, and they're going to overtime at Colgate. The Raiders have come back. They were down 2-0, but they've scored twice. They'll head to overtime in Hamilton. Here tonight, the Big Green take a 1-0 series lead over the Union Garnet Chargers on goals by Braden Dorfman, Matt Fusco, and Joey Musa, Cam McDonald with a pair of assists tonight for Dartmouth. So that will do it for our broadcast this evening. My broadcast partner, Tyler Orego, our producer, Kevin Kirkland, our entire ESPN Plus crew. My name is Rob Kennedy saying so long from Hanover. Final score tonight, you see it. The Big Green with a 3-1 win. This has been a presentation of ESPN. GEICO makes car insurance easy. As easy as getting stuffed up during allergy season. Before all the pollen. I used to stop and smell everything. The smell of fresh cut grass, my coffee in the morning, the hot dog smell from the hot dog guy. You did this to me. With an app that puts your policy in your pocket, it's easy to Geico. Curse you, ragweed pollen! <laughs> For the second year in a row, Chevy Equinox has been ranked by J.D. Power number one in new vehicle quality for compact SUVs. In other words, it's really good right from the start. Chevy Equinox.
Do that again. Connected by OnStar. Get 1.9% financing on all 2024 Equinox models. Or current Chevy owners, get 2,500 total cash allowance on this Equinox. See your Central New York Chevy dealers. Gatorade Fit. Vitamin-packed hydration with no artificial sweeteners, flavors, or added sugar. Hydration for every athlete. Forever. One in eight people have worked at a McDonald's. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. That's a lot of people who know things like teamwork, people skills, and surprising moments. Our experiences you'll always have. Lowe's knows new projects come with questions. So we have answers. Like how to keep your yard looking lush. Which paint color matches your bold style. And with the My Lowe's Rewards credit card, you can save 5% every day. You got this, and we got you. 